to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. We interrupt our programming, this is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the Canadian Parliament to participate in the emergency alert system. We will also be serving as a message distribution and relay source to other broadcast stations. It has been reported that at approximately 8 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time that the state of Suplex City, bitch, launched four nuclear warheads at the following cities, Ottawa, Toronto, Vancouver, and Halifax. Do not be alarmed, the Canadian Air Force has the ability to shoot down the incoming missiles, but you are to report to local fallout shelters, members of the Canadian Army will guide you to the fallout shelters. Welcome and thank you for downloading the Suplex City Limits and Federation Podcast Super Show for December 20th, 2015. As always, I am Jim Vicious, along with my co-host, as always, he's too hot to handle, too cold to hold, Rando Commando. <laughs> Come in near, ya. And of course, as mentioned, the Fudge Brothers, Tyler and Travis, how are you gentlemen? We are Fantastic. doing great. We love talking over each other. <laughs> the only way that we can do it. Yeah. We need like we would be best with a video podcast so we can have subtitles. <laughs> Since you know we're both Canadian, and then we talk over each other. You kind of. Well, it's the brothers thing, right? We, yeah. We just hate hearing each other talk. Exactly. So you just gotta cut each other off, right? <laughs> it just comes from being kids. <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, you can follow us uh, at Suplex City Limit on Twitter. Follow the Fuds at. The Federation, uh, Facebook, you know, fit Suplex City Limits. I'm sure yours is just Suplex, or uh, Facebook. <laughs> Federation slash, Podcast. Federation Podcast. You guys know how these links work. Put in yes. any website slash The Federation or Suplex City Limits. You'll probably find us. Shows are available for listening everywhere. Fine podcasts are found. Today on the show, we break down TLC. We review the Raw that followed. We talk NXT TakeOver London, Ring of Honor, Lucha Underground, and Rando Commando opens a mysterious package. I'm, I'm completely fucking terrified. That sounded sexual, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it's sexual. <laughs> this, by the time this is going to have a build more great than the fucking gobbledygooker egg. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope. I sh- frozen in <laughs> Holy fucking hell. <laughs> he should be worried getting a gift from me. That's very odd uh, for me to be like, I have a gift for you. 
<laughs> yeah, and what? And here, here, you know, he's he's just returning the favor. You know, I got him a really nice uh, Suplex City Limits T-shirt over the week here. Yeah. Uh, Drop that off. So. So uh, hopefully it's um not gonna. <laughs> Can, can I, I don't even know what to say first. yet. Mm. I don't know what to say. What, what is, is it? A guys? plaster cast it? of Jim's dick. <laughs> <laughs> the fact it's too big for that. Uh, uh, that's way too big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, so I was going to say, I would like to have one of those. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, you can check it out on Twitter. There's a picture of the gift wrapped <laughs> very elegantly in a Mickey Mouse and uh, Friends Wrapping paper. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you did not wrap this yourself. I did not wrap it myself. <laughs> I tried to wrap a gift for the first time ever. I tried to wrap my girlfriend's gift this year. Holy shit. I was so, like, I have just rage quit on it, dude. I tore the paper. I was fucking pissed. I just ripped it all off the box. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Christmas spirit, dude. I've got lots of it. Walmart bags, man. That's what I do. I have a Walmart bag. There you go. I threw it in a black garbage bag first. Uh, I, it, I pulled it real tight. I'm like, come on, dude. That's like. She's like, like you will wrap that thing in paper, dude. You will not give me my gift in a garbage bag. <laughs> the hardest some bitch to open too tight and all kinds of knots. Mm. Yeah. So I guess that's the deal. I guess this kind of doubles as a uh, winter holiday show. Yeah. Christmas, Hanukkah, serious. Kwanzaa, whatever else you may celebrate this time of year. Kwanzaa is the best one. <laughs> or a peaceful Ramadan. There you go. Ramadan? Yeah, Ramadan. Is that, that, is that this time? That's an obscure one. Yeah. At least in Canada. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but actually, actually, what is Ramadan? No, no, yeah. Fasting or something like that? Or? Sure. It's something it I never do. mustn't be very popular in America if it involves fasting. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, Ramadan, it, it's Muslim too, so yes, it's not very popular in America either. There oh, with that. <laughs> especially now. Uh, I don't think John, I don't think Donald Trump celebrates it. Let's just put it that way. No. <laughs> not in public anyway. <laughs> oh my! So let's talk about wrestling, boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wrestling, current events. So let's talk about TLC. Uh, 2015, which emanated from the Boston TD Garden in Massachusetts. The Boston Garden. <laughs> Boston. Boston Garden. Anybody who lives there right now is like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck those guys. Dude, I think we, like, we gain people every week. We probably gain X amount, but we lose, like, we lose Y every week by with the ridiculous shit that we say, so... <laughs> It so, evens out. It evens out. <laughs> it's just even so. <laughs> it works so, so. Well, the fans must love being called pussies. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> if you don't like being called a pussy, you're a cunt, so. <laughs> 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 Let's get into TLC. Uh, you know, the last minute edition of Sasha Banks. So such an after sh- afterthought to the uh, pre-show. They don't even bother to announce anymore. You notice that? Like, the pre show is just announced, like, on the show oh, or it, on SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, I think this one was just announced, like, a couple hours before the show. Yeah. Isn't it? I don't know. I don't watch SmackDown, so it's hard to say. Yeah. I, don't I, I didn't catch the pre show because uh, my Raiders actually were in a competitive game this week, and I sat and finished that up for f- switching it over to said pay per view. The only reason why I tuned into the pre-show was to see if they would fuck Sasha Banks over again. Oh, uh, they didn't. Uh, uh, they went for a commercial break as soon as she went for a pin, though. That was, it, that was pretty shitty. <laughs> Dude, they've been doing that during the pre-show match. I don't give a fuck. Why are you going to commercial? Yeah, You're especially... The network. What it, are you going to do? Exactly. Plug the network again? Like, yep. what? Yeah, that's, it doesn't They're make They're already it. there. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand it either, man. I guess somebody was saying that you're getting that feed is what's on the YouTube because they do do the YouTube pre-show on YouTube for free. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they're showing oh. that. But still, dude, it's you can put it anywhere. You don't have to put it in the middle of a fucking match because no. all that does is say, this isn't important. <laughs> what's important? Exactly. Is, you know. See those that, vaginas? Yeah. Don't care about that. <laughs> nah, 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 Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, best deal. It's not Netflix, but better, Michael. Yeah, exactly. 
if you order WWE through conventional pay-per-view, you are a fucking stupid. That's what they'll, they'll tell you. I'll bust out flashcards. <laughs> oh, my <goodness>. so much. <laughs> See, this is you. You're <laughs> stupid paying $60. <laughs> they essentially do say that, too. Mm. They do, yep. Yep, they do. Yep. But you really are stupid if you spend $60 on these fucking bullshit pay-per-views. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, there's not a lot to say about the match. Uh, I thought it was decent. You know, Becky Lynch is good in ring. Sasha's good in the ring. It was better than the other women's match you had on the card. Those are your Cole best two. Yeah. His, Cole had his first fuck-up of the night. During that he one? A, he called a just a choke the bank statement when it wasn't the bank statement. <laughs> and this would this would continue on further as the show went on. Oh, good. I hope you have notes of all of this. I stuff. have a couple of them, yeah, I do. It's hard to keep them all, yeah. Oh. You think the guy would know wrestling moves at this point. It's so funny how few moves, if you really pay attention on Raw, nobody really names moves, man. They, they, cause no. they, no, they don't know what the fuck any of the moves are. Well, well half yeah. the fucking wrestlers don't know what the fucking wrestling moves are. I mean, if Cole fucking can figure out which wrestler is which, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's JBL, that guy's like on another fucking planet. I, yeah, he's, he's, he's done the elevator game, and he wound up in another dimension. What he sees is not what I see. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, uh, he's, you know, the, the character of JBL is that he actually thinks that Brian Saxton is uh, Virgil. I, <laughs> I, I heard that. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he just thinks it's virtual. He doesn't can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> All black and Mexican people look the same. Where's your fuck money, Virgil? <laughs> We're going to the Olive Garden after this, Michael. <laughs> I'm gonna take you out for a nice dinner, Michael. <laughs> yeah, dude, my, Michael and Virgil. <laughs> the worst commentary team, honestly. The commentary on this pay per view, I thought was just overall just dog shit. Oh, yeah. Man. And you know what, though? I bet you what doesn't help is that Michael Cole is the overseer of all the announcers. Yeah. Right? So, like, it's whatever he thinks is whatever goes, I suppose, you know, without Vince. But, like, I'm sure that that really is a detriment to your product. Well, he has quite a high position in NXT, too, doesn't he? He's some sort of scout or, talent, or like, talent coach for, like, the uh, commentators. Oh, yeah, there. every announcer in the WWE system. And then you look at Rich Brennan, and the guy is, like, a Michael Cole copy. Oh, copy. Just a different haircut. That's Millhouse, it. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is hair blue, and you got yourself your first announcing character. Thrill House! <laughs> and that's the thing, too, if you, you know, talking about t uh, scouting talent, is you see on Breaking Ground that they actually sent, uh, you know, Canyon Seaman... Which that fucking guy, the knight's name, bro, uh, and Regal to India to scout the champion of scrawny fucking underwear wrestling, and it's like, why would you send these two guys across the world to like, oh, the, these guys over here wrestling diapers and shit? That's cool. Let's get the best what, guy what, 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 and bring him here. Fucking uh, what's that fucking love pre guy, right? Yeah, something like that. The one that's in like is on that Breaking Ground show. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know that like. You ever like you could just go to fucking uh, you know Georgia and go to an indie show and there's like a bunch of awesome dudes who <laughs> have spent like actually dedicating their lives to wrestling. Well, yeah, if if you want to like have an international influence, go over to the UK. What they need is the Mahabali Shira Shuffle. Yeah, that's what they need. <laughs> Tag him up with Love Preet, boom, money. Oh, Tiger Ali Singh come back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might have to drop that lawsuit, though, or just pretend it never existed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, looking for, um, uh, you know, a talent from that part of the world. I mean, I made him a fuck so I don't know. I, I loved Muhammad Hassan, though. Agreed. Agreed. Besides for the fact that he is uh, Italian-American. Right. That, <laughs> you know, the, the, everything else was great about him. No, yeah. no knock on Italian-Americans, by the way. Just, right. you know, Italian-American playing a Muslim. Uh, right. Indian Muslim is a little odd. But... A little bit. Well, he wasn't Indian, I was he? I mean, he was like, yeah. just Middle Eastern or whatever. No, he's literally Italian. Well, I know, but I mean, but he, his character. He his didn't character. play oh, Indian, oh. did he? I thought he played just kind of a Middle Eastern. He, he played an American-born Muslim. They were playing off the wars at the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They always mm -hmm. used to mention yeah, yeah. him, so I guess they are going to reference that he was, like, from Afghanistan or something. More <laughs> they, they, they referenced that he was literally born in America. Oh, okay. but, but, like, he was sick that he was getting treated like he was a terrorist when he was never even over there before. Oh, sure. That's, that's what it was all about. Let me just say, like, the wars. Which war do you mean? The, uh, the <laughs> One of the dozens? From the beginning of our country until currently, the fact that there's <laughs> always been a war. 
It's a broad area to cover. Yeah, it is. <laughs> exactly. You Fuck, you guys even fought each other, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Good Super. point. Good point, yeah. Nobody ever talks about when the Canadians went and burned your White House, though. That one's, that's not even written in history books anymore. Really? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's not very friendly. Us can ask why your White House was white, because we burnt it and you guys repainted it. Well, there you go. Well, what the heck? U.S. Yeah. history lesson from the Canadians. Yeah. Hey, this is supposed it's, to it's... happen when we were talking about Lance Storm on SmackDown. Oh, yeah, a yeah. Long yeah. Time Until he ago. blocked me, and I said, fuck you, Lance Storm. <laughs> Block fellow Canadians. Fellow so, uh, Albertans, he lives, like, five hours away. Oh, dude. I bet his uh, I bet his Twitter is fucking highly interesting. Riveting. <laughs> it's really, it's really. I tried to. <laughs> it was fun. A day well spent. It's just a picture of him with like no expression, like eating cereal and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the bland of cereal too, fucking like bran flakes. No, yeah, like Cheerios. Not yeah, yeah. Cheerios. Just yeah. Cheerios. Yeah, just exactly. No Golden sugar. muscles. There's no sugar to add to that either. Yeah. No, no, there's no sweetness in that fucking buddy. Does that good. guy ever fucking yeah, just like be excited about something? Fuzzy <laughs> album. Yeah. <laughs> Him and Chris are the only two that fucking. The enjoy only that. two fans of Fozzie are Chris Jericho and Lance Storm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking Fozzie. They come up like, I don't know why that comes up every fucking week, but God, that shit is really terrible. It <laughs> is. <laughs> Kill a stranger. He started playing it on his podcast, like, the new song. I'm like, dude, when does this end fast? That's, that's, that's the main reason why I unsubscribe from the Chris Jericho podcast. It's so shameless, dude. Yeah. Well, and he's, I go back and I'll listen to certain ones, like that Eddie Guerrero tribute one, sure. But his everyday ones, fuck that. I don't like Chris Jericho enough for that. Yeah, it's, I agree with you there. Well, he, plus he's such a company man. You know, he's not going to say anything that has any substance, and that's something that we talked about. You know, a lot lately is like you could like, why would you listen to some a show that's somebody's beholden to advertisers or you know beholden to WWE Sam Roberts, bitch. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was just gonna say it actually. <laughs> Why would you want to listen to that when you could listen to something that could, like people who have their own opinions can say whatever they want to say? Yeah, no, I agree. Austin, you know, Austin has some, when he has a good guest, is all right. Oh yeah, no, it's sure he's a little pigeon held by the WWE, but at least they will let him ask some questions that. When he has Keller or Meltzer on, it's usually a decent show. Yeah, yeah, like the the pay per views of you, the pay per view reviews of Keller are decent. Yeah, that was already decent. He had Del Wilkes, the uh, Patriot on. Oh, <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was a really episode, man. It was. Really? It was actually a really great episode, yeah. Oh, my heaven. Yeah, Del Wilkes on uh, Twitter. He messaged back. Pretty awesome. He's a nice guy. Who, yeah, he, he must hate Salvatore. Was it Sincere? Sincere? Sincere, Tom Brady. He stole his fucking Patriot gimmick. I don't think he stole it. I he think... says that he paid Del Wilkes for it or something, and Del Wilkes says he's never, ever heard of it. Oh, God. Or something. Yeah, I, I saw, saw it fucking, like, five, six years ago. I saw a dude wrestling as the Patriot. It was probably Salvador, Sin- Salvador Sincere. Because I'm pretty sure Del, w- Del Wilkes, didn't he get, like, a career-ending injury or something like that? I'm not sure. Yeah, he had neck problems and shit. I don't, I don't keep up with bland characters, especially one that is so patriotic as the Patriot. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> especially being Canadian, it's like, okay. Well, yeah, it's like, what, do we have Captain Canada? No. Well, no. Uh, yeah, we did have Captain Canada for a bit with Christian wearing his fucking Canadian flag t-shirt. But... Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you guys know that Captain Canada is actually a real comic? I did not. It's awful. It's garbage. <laughs> you get free copies on Canada Day, yeah. and then they're thrown away immediately. <laughs> he doesn't fight much. anybody, he just talks everybody out of it. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Yeah, and he's the name. peacekeeping superhero. Yeah. Hey, come on. It's still not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're no, sorry. Say you're sorry. Ask, you consider. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. Put the maple syrup down. And because the super villain is also Canadian, he's like, yeah, all right, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and every, know that and every fucking comic ends with them shaking hands. <laughs> 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 Glad we can come to a peaceful resolution. Yeah. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> oh shit. Canada's the shit, man. We we live so close to it that we've been there a bunch of times, and I dig the shit out of Canada. If oh, if they let me, I would come there. <laughs> I would live. There. If they're like, hey man, you can just come and be a citizen here, I'd be like, pack my shit up, let's go. <laughs> right now, I mean, we're, we're people, in the states too. It's okay. Your beer and cigarettes are really cheap. So. Mm. Yeah, that is true. 
I like Canada so much I stole one of your women. <laughs> Made her own. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> you give her back to us. <laughs> There's a limited supply of vaginas. I'm sure. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Canadian woman we can get. Yeah, goddamn greedy American son of a bitch, huh? <laughs> it is. Taking our, women, pretty taking pretty our oil. I make an invasion of Canada and steal shit from there. Wow. <laughs> Back to America. Swayze Express. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming down the rails on the Swayze train. Oh, God. Uh, so, in typical uh, SEL fashion, as we're reviewing a pay per view, we get way off base. We were talking about TLC. We haven't even gotten to the actual pay per view, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> we're still on the kickoff. Yes. Yep. This is the kickoff show to the actual episode. Yep. Yeah. The, ki- the kickoff so. review to the to the review. So yeah, like, like right after this, you should almost put in music and start. Act- yeah. <laughs> it started all up after. Yeah, it started all over again. <laughs> let's, let's not do that. Uh, you uh, opened with you know basically going into this, I was interested in three. We pretty much discussed we were interested in three matches, uh, being you know Owen Zambros, the table match, and this fucking ladder match. Dude, match of the night or what? Oh, the ladder matches. Yeah, Can't definitely. New Day, yeah, the Usos and the Lucha Dragons. This match was fucking awesome. Full of spots in that one. Yeah, man. It was good. I liked it. A lot of people were saying, you know, I heard a lot of old-timey people kind of saying, like, well, you know, you shouldn't go out and do that much to start the show. Like, basically saying, like, these guys should have done less because they blew the rest of the show. No, they should have booked them later on in the show is exactly. what they should have done. That's WWE logic right there. Like, how dare you go out and actually, like, put on the best match first? <laughs> how about the rest of these fuckers step up? Like, That's what needs to happen, really. What do you think they were thinking back there with, fuck, like, Rusev and Ryback were thinking, sitting backstage, like, yeah, good fucking luck, dude. Uh, well, you know what Ryback thought? Because he'd done that twisting fucking plancha to the outside. He was like, I got something that's going to kick their ass. <laughs> He tried to do a twisting plancha to the outside, and it didn't get I don't believe out. that that guy even thinks negative thoughts. He probably <laughs> no. Like, Watch this, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, like, Watch me lift Rusev. Watch me outdo you. Yeah. And, wow. Yeah, there was and nothing. fucking bust his eyeballs, get pink eye again. <laughs> Jesus. But, yeah, I mean, the Salida del Sol off the ladder onto a ladder was the, uh, the pinnacle of the fucking... I the- legitly thought that Uso was dead. I, I popped like a motherfucker for that. I jumped yeah. out of my seat. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking awesome. And then, like, holy shit. I mean, that was something. And, and the, I, I would go so far as to say this is probably one of the better ladder matches since the golden era of the tag team ladder matches. Yeah, I agree with you. Agree. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. They really brought... Yeah, they, they brought it. They brought it that night. And they worked in interesting spots, too. You know, because you might think, like, Big E... How does he fit into that whole equation? But they found a way. The power spot, I was like, that's creative as fuck. I mean, for somebody, yeah, any of us who've all watched thousands of tens of thousands of hours of wrestling, for it to genuinely pop me with a move was like, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. And, uh, and we get another fuck up by Cole. Mm. <laughs> he keeps on calling Kalisto Sin Cara. Yeah, he does. I remember and that. Quince yep. chastises him for it. Oh. <laughs> Wow, is it pretty sad when a fucking wrestler slash manager comes and does commentary and blows all three of them out of the fucking water? Right. Kevin Owens and Xavier Woods on commentary would be great. Owens on commentary is fantastic. When he was doing, it is. When he would it guest is. on NXT all the time, it was fucking glorious. Oh, making fun of uh, Alex Riley. Make, Alex Riley yeah. used to make fun of a lot. Yeah. Oh, dude, that shit was great. Uh, so yeah, I man. All in all, I thought it was awesome. Like I said, uh, Woods was great on commentary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Usos, I'm not usually a fan of. They, they're fine. They're just kind of boring. Yeah, yeah. They got a boring. You know, they, they, they need like... characters. Is what they need. Well, yeah. As wrestlers, they're fine. But, but they're related to Roman Reigns, so they have no personality. So therefore, <laughs> there goes your character. You just want to like hang out with them. Like, go put a camera on them, and like let them talk. Like, we don't know anything really about these fucking not guys. Not a clue. No. The Rikishi sons. That's it. I feel yeah. like every Samoan is just turned into hey. We have family. This yeah. is what we are. Yeah. We wrestle. Like, ha, ha, ha. Like me, <laughs> proxy. Do it. Just like me, because I'm Simone. And there's a lot of them at this point, too. You look at NXT, you got Nia Jax. Yeah. Uh, you know, then them. And there's a lot of... Uh, 
I mean, if you're even like, oh, I bet the rock one. So like, cool, we're going to sign you to a developmental deal. <laughs> if you were Samoan and you lived down the street from the rock, they'd give you a deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like we just, to, you know. Well, God forbid if your name is Samoa Joe, it'll take him 36 years to fucking notice you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's uh, that's a fair assessment. So, all in all, yeah, the uh, the uh, the new day did retain the belts. Probably a good decision. Uh, There's nobody in that division that can really do it. I, right. you know, I understand why not, but I'm a big fan of the Lucha Dragons, as I'm a fan of Lucha Libre uh, in general, which has obviously been. But yeah, here's the hated. thing with with the dragons, though, man. What are you gonna do with them once you get the belt on them? I mean, they, I mean. As far as they're they're fantastic in the ring, yeah. Don't get us wrong, but there there lies the personality problem again. They, well, they 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 give them they given them the pedestal to do it now. You know, what I mean, after this tag team match, that Salida del Sol has brought the Luch Dragons to the forefront a little bit. You know, and if right, they can capitalize right. on that now, then they can start to build it, and they can be a viable tag team champion in the future. Yeah. So he can find interesting ways to do that move too. Like when he did it on the off the top on Ryback, that was awesome. Mm-hmm. The Ryback, the Ryback, too. the Ryback. I just feel like uh, Kalisto is obviously your next Rey Mysterio. So what the fuck are you waiting for with that? I don't know, but you're waiting for him to get on the roids and build some mass like Mysterio did. Because you look at like Mysterio, never a, a promo, never really much of shit, but he was over as hell, you know. Oh. So. I think you, if you get, even if his English isn't great, if people, you let people get to know Kalisto and, like, actually build the guy, I think he could be that fucking Rey Mysterio of today. I don't know why they're... Isn't that... Kalisto from California? Uh, I think he's from, El no, I think he's from, uh, I think he's from somewhere very unassuming, actually. Very unassuming? Like, what does that mean? He's... Like... Like, oh, like fucking somewhere in the U.S. Like, like oh. somewhere, but some oh, okay. hit them. You're like, really? Like, but I think it grew up in fire. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lifetime fan of the Brewers, but he's definitely is uh, is Mexican. You know, his English is kind of. Uh, but I don't know. I, I like the. Uh, and it's such a thing too. Like they don't have other any other lucha guys. That's it, right? Who is another masked guy there? Is there one? The Matadors. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We forgot about those guys, didn't the we? Colognes. Dude, those guys are good. They are good. good. If you take that garbage fucking gimmick off them. Well, I, yeah, I, 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 hear, I hear that's why they're off TV. They're repackaging them, guys. So. Yeah. Hopefully. I even heard that they uh, contacted Carlito as a part of, to make them as like a group unit, but they didn't offer Carlito half as much money as he Well, wanted. if you look at what he did on the Hall of Fame, would you really spring to give him the money? No. I, I wouldn't. He was a cunt at the Hall of Fame. Like, that whole speech. is like, if, if you want to to really fuck yourself over and never work there ever again, watch Carlito's speech and do it word for word. Yeah. I don't even remember much about it. Oh, he buried the fuck out of the WWE. When he was putting his dad in? Yeah. Oh, really? Oof. That's... And you can see, like, Primo and Epico just stood there like, you're fucking us over, dude. <laughs> you're fucking us over. They're going to hate us by proxy now because you are fucking me over. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, so what are they going to bring those those guys back as? You couldn't, again, with them, they were another one where you couldn't actually tell them apart. They're like the Usos. At least now the Usos are color-coded. So you can tell, <laughs> so you can tell which one is which. Yeah, one That's has a beard, and one has fucking a grill now, too. Oh. Yeah. Very modern, very hip, Yeah, uh, yeah. ahead of the curve idea. All they yeah. need is a catchphrase, like, whoop, yeah. there it is. Yeah. No, 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 I got it, I got it, got it. Oh, wait, what is it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God damn it. laughs> I'm trying to think, it's like, who has a grill? Uh, uh, what's his name? Little John? Is that his name? Little John. Oh, yeah. What does he say? Okay. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so as if JBL doesn't have a hard enough time telling any anyone of color apart, then they throw twins that are brown in there. The guy's all fucked up. Michael, <laughs> Michael, the minorities are kicking my ass, Michael. I remember when they first started. Michael Cole used to differentiate them with a tattoo, and he was like, he was like, oh yeah, one of the one of them has a tattoo on their chest. I think it's Jay here. <laughs> he never ever ever knew at all. It's terrible. Well, I never ever cared about him enough really to know. <laughs> oh, neither do I. I still don't know which one's which. They buried him when they came back pretty much by uh, Cole fucking up. 
when the Usos re-debuted a couple weeks ago, whatever the fuck it was, uh, he he said that the wrong one was injured. You know, so Gene <laughs> was awesome. injured. He said, you know, Billy or whatever the fuck. The other, no, just like, Jimmy. Billy. Jimmy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's Jimmy. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Jimmy and Bimmy fucking Uso. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, and Bimmy. Yeah, Jimmy and Bimmy. The double the, dragon Usos. Yeah, dude. <laughs> double, double dragon, dragon That would be fucking dope. Oh, yeah. Which, There's the gimmick. What's, what's that? There's the gimmick yeah, for them. They're fucking Uso ninjas. Uh, which, was that double dragon two, three? That was two, yep. But then every time you, you, have, a, you have a match with the double dragon Usos, you're going to have to have, um, oh, god dang, what's her name? Uh, uh, not Sasha and not uh, not the and big Naomi? Not, Naomi. Yeah, you'll have to have Naomi like stand on the stage while somebody like walks up really slowly, punches her in the stomach, and, and walks then away. You're like, yeah, like walks away, like on the video game. <laughs> yeah. What we're referencing is in Double Dad Dragon. Being pregnant to the angle. In Double Dragon Two, it starts off and it's telling you the story, and it just says Bimmy and Jimmy instead of Billy and Jimmy. Yeah, it's fantastic Japanese translation. <laughs> Nobody caught that. <laughs> the first ten seconds of fucking turning the game on. <laughs> Bimmy and really, yep, yep. Double Dragon. I don't know if you get North American I'm, I'm, releases I'm, I'm, of that stuff up there, but yeah. Oh well, yeah, they get video. Uh, oh well, no, no, no. I don't know if it's yeah, the same get, type though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> In America, we had this thing called Nintendo. I know you guys wouldn't know anything. For, about. for the for the most part, it's the same. Okay. Okay. For the most I don't know told. if there was regional differences in it or something, you know. No, every Canada and the U.S. are both NTSC. So. Oh, okay. All We're right. connected from dick to ass, basically. <laughs> We're Canada touchers up here, so. Canada diddlers? <laughs> yeah. Canada. We're, We're American fondlers. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Is that, uh, just do it up there. Has that package moved at all? I don't know. No, it's it's still yeah. right over. Where the, the fuck did that go? Wait, wait, over here. wait. Can it move? <laughs> it might. <laughs> is it like a gremlin? You don't know, is he? That's building anticipation for this. It's for uh, God's sakes, if it's a gremlin, don't leave any water or chicken past yeah, there. Fuck, okay? fuck yeah! I just, I just watched that movie the other day, actually. You'll yeah, I hope, sure hope movie. it's a mogwai. That'd be awesome. It's a good Christmas. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> you can sing you to sleep at night. Mm-hmm. And as much as I dig like the first Gremlins, I love the the way they went with the second one. They took it a completely different direction, but Gremlins Two is fucking hilarious to me, man. I haven't seen I Gremlins, two. Gremlins Two. God damn, boys! God <laughs> damn, I, you do flick dicks, right? Get on it. Yes. You want me to <laughs> talk Gremlins to you? Two? We'll do Gremlins yeah. Two with Jim Vicious. Bam. Yeah, there we go. That's actually a good idea. The four of us do a flick. <laughs> Dude, the Gremlins 2. Yeah, I'll sit through the Gremlins. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Dude, Gremlins 2 is hilarious. Uh, what wasn't hilarious? Love that. Uh, Rusev and Ryback. Oh, no, 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 that was hilarious. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I could give a fuck about this, dude. I, uh, don't, I didn't watch it. Oh, the fuck. The, what I mean, they need to do with Rusev is take... Anything... Uh, you know, uh, yeah, people love Lana. Okay, understandable. I don't think they do. I don't think that's not anymore. No, I think that's... I sure hope not because every angle involves her, and they just need to fucking stop. This is, this is, this is worse than his John Cena shit. That's the thing is like they have had him, and I've never thought it, I, I don't like the random foreign you know heel, especially from Russia. That's dumb. Uh, but man, they buried with that Cena thing, ruined him, then into that Ziggler feud. This feud is retarded. It's oh. Uh, that's just because it's a feud with Ryback, and that's just what happens to guys when they feud with Ryback. It's yeah. just, he's if done. You, they ruined him, dude. There's no getting Rusev back. If Ryback doesn't injure you, you're, and you're going to come out bad anyways, because he's either going to injure you or you're just going to come out with a shitty match. Great, yeah. So, Yeah, but what was it that's off the top shit? That, that guy is, he's fucking going crazy. I don't know what he's... <laughs> he does, like, this weird, like, little... What, what would you call it? Just a splash? The right. Ryback splash? The big guy splash or whatever? I don't know. I guess. It's like a flaw. Yeah, yeah. He's going to hurt himself doing that shit. And he's doing the frog splash and shit. Like, no way a guy your size should be doing that shit. It's just dumb. I don't know, man. I just... I, anything with Ryback and anything with Rusev the last year has just been terrible. And they were doing okay with Ryback a couple of years ago. It was okay. Ryback was when he was heel, when they were running him heel, right? 
I think he'd be. I think he'd be a way better heel than he would be a face. Him and Heyman, I loved. I can't really remember much about it. I loved him and Heyman. I thought that that was a great dynamic. But but the only reason you really liked him and Heyman is just because it's Heyman. Yeah, yeah you know, Ryback didn't add fuck all to it. But like, yeah, I I can see where why you'd like it. But like, yeah, I don't know. Well, he's a tag guy. I don't guy. care enough about Ryback. To me, he's still a tag guy. You put him in a tag with somebody and. Oh, Rybaxel? <laughs> I, I like that tag team. I love Rybaxel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The last thing those guys did, basically, when they broke up that was fucking hilarious, man. Well, yeah, because like, didn't they just mutually go yeah. their separate ways? Well, yeah, because then they, that was when they sent Axel back to fucking NXT for a little while there. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like throwing, like, like throwing into the fodder. You know what I mean? It's Curtis Axel. You're going to throw him down there, especially now. If you were to throw him down there with like Finn Balor and Samoa Joe and Apollo Crews and all these guys, he would get anally raped. They'd have to completely rehaul his whole... Like, they would have to give him a singlet and call him Mr. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> give him, make him grow his hair up, give him a perm. Blonde mullet. Oh, yeah. Oh. There we go. There you go. As you we... know how he acted like Hulk Hogan, having to act like Mr. Perfect. Fuck it. Well, we came up with on here before Mr. Imperfect, where he comes up, <laughs> misses the gloves, and has vignettes rolling gutters. Yep. That would be so great. Yeah, Airball drop, shots would be drops, That is money right there. Yeah. Drops his towel two or three times down the rail. <laughs> yeah, he just the eye in the back and misses it, you know. And he, lo- it. he loses to a fucking Down syndrome kid in chess. He would just be a great... <laughs> <laughs> he would just be a great heel in that sense, man. Oh, yeah, he I mean, would. it's comedy's a gimmick, but fuck, dude, it's better. You already don't like him, so... Can he always win by flukes and stuff, too? Just like... Yeah, Some guy yeah. slips on the banana peel, and he's like, oh, well, I guess I'll just pin it. <laughs> <laughs> Has WWF already done that? I bet they have done some. <laughs> <laughs> An actual banana peel? I bet they I can have, dude. No, hold on just a second. Just have a banana here. peel fall from the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Just randomly. Just throw it down from the rafters. Yeah. Pull a banana peel out of your tights and throw it down in front of a guy. <laughs> there you go. That sounds like something. Some Maybe they did do something like that with, like, with like Bash and Booger or something, I think I remember something. Like that. <laughs> Bash and Booger. Now that Hold on is a second. Sonification of disgusting. We'll put the people. We'll put people listening to it. Go find out if that's ever happened. Has WWE ever used a banana peel in any of their angles? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Crazy idea. If the do- okay, here we go. Google <laughs> is fantastic. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh my! <laughs> Wait, are you searching it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. Sweet. I feel like it had to happen at some time. Bastion Booger would be a good candidate for it. Sin Cara. They did it with Sin Cara. No way. (laughs) What? Sin Cara wins with a banana peel. Unless this is just like fan, this, unless this is fan fiction or something like that. It's it's in the OSW review here. Hold on a second. Did you stumble onto uh, Dewey Foley's fucking blog where he write he wrote WWE ideas before getting hired? I don't know. No, I maybe never I did. Even knew it. Uh, he got hired as a writing assistant. Oh, I knew he got hired, but I didn't know like he. Oh, he had some kind of a blog. I never, I've never saw it, but where he would write ideas. Yeah, they probably did do it. Huh? Fucking banana peel. Uh, I had nothing to say really about this. This is shit. Lana Angles sucks. Ryback and Rusev both are just. I could give a shit, and that was like, why, why put a match like that on here? Stop fucking, you know. You get no like. Look at how many people were not on this card, and then why even bother with a Ryback Rusev match? Just pointless, man. Yeah. No, it's the didn't the pay per view run long anyways? No. No. Okay. Pay per views never run long. Fucking Raw does though. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, that's, I that's can't make Raw into that three-hour window ever. This week was like three hours and 15 minutes. Well, see, USA wants them to do that because okay. it makes them feel like a real sports program. So it's like, I don't know. So not only three hours, but yeah, always three hours, 15 minutes, three hours, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, just, just ruin your whole night. Gross. Uh, moving on, Alberto Del Rio, J- Jack Thwagger. <laughs> Jack Swagger. Yeah. Jack Swagger. Go home to science homework. Who was fucking completely gone, you know, relegated to SmackDown for what seemed like fucking in eternity, and hasn't it's been, been on a pay per view since what Royal Rumble 2015. You know, he wasn't. Uh, was it? Yeah, maybe I guess he had to be in the Rumble. I guess. He wasn't around fucking forever, and he comes back and is immediately in for the U.S. title. That angle is god awful. The the way they've used Del Rio since bringing him back is ridiculous. Oh, I'm so glad they haven't mentioned one time about the kick. 
oh, just bad. And Jack Swagger is another guy just like, you've ruined it, dude. There's nothing left there. Mm-hmm. And he's still doing the We the People thing. Like, oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, the match was absolute. It was okay. You know what I mean? It's, I didn't really pay much attention to it again because, actually, the reason why I didn't pay much attention to it is I was watching it on my computer in my smoke room because, I mean, who wants to watch a WWE pay-per-view without being altered? So I was in there, and I was all in a smoky haze, and I had tweeted <laughs> the up, up, down, down mm. about how well, something about pay-per-view, and they retweeted it, and my Twitter went absolutely insane. Yeah. So I just decided not to watch that match, and I was just cycling through my Twitter feed. So, yeah, you can also, yeah, like I said, you guys do that too. I always am, uh, every pay-per-view, shit like that, at Suplex City Limit, always uh, live-tweeting my hilarious musings. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly just me being a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> just destroying people. Yeah, you gotta do it. So, you know, again, I like, like this is another nothing match, really. It's just, it's just sad what they've done with that. And they don't even have the decency to, like, Use Zeb Coulter, bring him out, have him there. <laughs> you know, nothing. No, so, no he's, mm. he, not that that he rode off to the, to the distance. And yep, he doesn't exist anymore. Him. Yeah, I, I just, so these angles, man, I just don't understand it. There's no effort involved in, in any of them. You look at those last two, and it's like the complete bottom of the barrel effort to create a fucking a feud. Basically. Then it's sad. Wyatt Family and the ECW Originals. I thought this was fine. I thought it was all right. It was way better than Next Night on Raw, though. Yeah, yeah. I I I was hoping for more out of this. I was kind of let down by it. It's the easiest tables match the Dudley's ever ever had. Oh, yeah. And Strowman, dude. That guy is the shits. (laughs) You guys see that spot outside the ring? Fucking Bubba comes at him with the garbage can. Holy shit! And he's he's just late as fuck hitting him with it. It looked like yeah. complete crap. Yeah. You can see him on like on Monday. He's yelling at Strowman the whole fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> I would just be pissed. Like, what are you guys doing with this, man? Yeah, no, it's. I don't. The the one thing I took from this match is thank God, Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper in this match. Yeah. Because <laughs> Luke Harper to me is the one of the best things that WWE has. We we agree with that, yeah. and and you know the fact that this big guy blows out like a Michinoku driver or whatever the fuck you call it, or you know his his suicide or that tope, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it, that guy to me, if booked right, could be great. And that's the thing they don't. I don't know if they think like if there's a faction, nobody can have a belt. You know, like he he could have a fucking sub belt. You know, give he could be like an intercontinental champion or U.S. champ. Well. He, he yes. already was the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, he was in IC for a little right. while, yep. But they didn't really do anything with it. And that, Wasn't that and they after were, they broke up the Wyatts? That was after they broke up the Wyatts, yep. Yeah. yep. But yeah, he is definitely good, and he's very underutilized. Uh, but all in all, I thought it was a fair, you know, it was, it was decent. It was uh, fair, yep. It was, you know, good to see. I, I Being an old school fan, it's nice to see the, the ECW guys. Except, for, I mean, I would like to see Spike Dudley. If that was a real missed opportunity. <laughs> LSD? Yeah, that would have been nice. Instead of Rhino, it should have been Spike. I think that would have been great. Yeah, that would have went way over better with the crowd. I don't know if they didn't want it or if he wasn't interested. Well, I mean, you got it's it's the log- logical choice is to have Rhino in there because he's already under some sort of contract. Sure. Does Spike even wrestle indie dates at all? No. I don't think so. I think he's just a full-fledged teacher now, isn't he? Because, I mean, House of Hardcore would be the ideal place to always have him. Yeah, and he's but, never there. I yeah. got two House of Hardcore posters here from those we cannot mention because you guys don't like them. What do you mean? It rhymes with uh, Bressel Brait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bressel okay. Bressel I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how can I not say Russell Crate? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, House Hardcore is good shit too. I'd like to see them do more, uh, become available to watch more. It's I guess you know, here in, isn't it all on the fight network here in Canada, isn't yes. it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we don't have that here. 
No, no. We I have enough violence in America that we don't need to bottle it up on one channel. <laughs> bottle up in one channel and just yep. name it the Fight Network. Yeah, you guys, you guys are so nice up there. You guys, you know, to, to, to <laughs> counteract that, you know, you guys need a television channel called that. You know, a Fight Channel. Oh, I, I'm a little <laughs> angry. I'm gonna watch the Fight Channel and just get over <laughs> it. You know? Not in America, nope. <laughs> people fight on every channel in America. Yeah, people fight. Yeah. <laughs> Even on your talk shows, Maury, yep. Jerry, yep. they all brawl. Oh, Maury is the best. <laughs> yeah. Maury is just a who's your dad. He's, you a, he's a fucking shit disturber, man. <laughs> we go, just, just ruining lives left, right, and center. <laughs> you are not the father. Yeah. <laughs> I know you love this kid as your own, but your no. lie detector test determined that that was a lie. <laughs> yeah, you're going to jail. <laughs> Fucking bring out some broad and like six dudes, and turns out none of them are the father. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just one night she had to, a train ran on her, and just, uh, she has no idea from there who the father is. I mean, she I mean everybody her. came in me, so it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I was what you call a proverbial cum bucket. <laughs> So there's eight man's coming me. I don't know which one got through. It smelled like shit the next day, though. <laughs> I think I should get child support from all eight y'all. <laughs> y'all ruined my pussy. Oh, gross. <laughs> we are just taking this to a whole new level of love. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> Suplex City Limits of the Federation. Together, it just gets even... Each one is ridiculous independently, but together... Together we... <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole new level of douchebaggery. T- together we tip the scales. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yep. Dean Ambrose, Kevin Owens, uh, which, you know, was anticipated. Good match as anticipated. <laughs> but, like, we always want Ambrose to go over, but the only time I kind of didn't want him to go over, they put him over. So, See, and, and I, I, I'm, I don't know if you guys, I think we may have talked about this. I am the least biggest Dean Ambrose fan. Oh, really? You, you don't, don't like Dean Ambrose? Ambrose? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. I like John really? Moxley, but I do not like Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, to me, could fuck off at any time. <laughs> I hate him. I love that him Dwight Yoakam like... looking fucker can just leave my <laughs> TV screen and stop fucking my girlfriend Renee Young and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because he fucks Renee Young that I hate him You're so just bitter. I bitter, bitter. He has that position in the company. Is that... It's another American that stole a Canadian woman, God damn it. Yeah, it's that people there are mad that he fucks her backstage. Like, people <laughs> have it done, they're mad that he gets to fuck her. Oh, wouldn't you? Jesus, look at him. I thought they were doing a lot of damage to his character, but I think, like, him as a dude, he just... He just is good enough that he's still, you know... I think he's the most over face on the... Uh, You're probably right there, and as a wrestler, I think he's fine. I just don't like that character. I, I don't like it at all. But what if, uh, since his character is so dry, I know that they put the IC title on him, and Sheamus and Roman Reigns is a definite program for Rumble, but I don't know, between now and Mania, why don't you turn Dean Ambrose heel and have him feud with Roman? If, if, yeah. you know, if you know, you're going to keep the title on him for a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. For sure. I think you're looking at that Triple H... And uh, Roman Reigns. I think, too, probably. You will. Unfortunately. Matt, can, you, can you imagine Triple H winning the WWE title? Oh, fucking Can you imagine that? Wouldn't that break Ric Flair's quote-unquote No, uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, think it, would it would tie it. Would tie, oh, no, it's Cena. Cena is yeah, yeah, Cena. okay. the one, yeah. That's the thing, too, is like the fact that that's not... 100% he wouldn't do that is scary, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the fact that you doubt that, you, the fact that it's actually a, an option in your head. I can see myself sitting on the couch watching him fucking it trips put the fucking belt back on. Oh, head. fuck. It's, the, oh. Groundwork's, the groundwork's been set for that already. It has. Guess, I, mean, I don't know, though. If they had Daniel Bryan go over Triple H at the, the, the way that they perceive him, yeah, to have him not go over Daniel Bryan at that point and go for the title... I don't think that, I don't know, I don't know. They would never put Reigns over Triple H. Yeah, you know, that I think about it, you're exactly right. They fucking put three quarters of their roster under the fucking ground to get try to get Roman Reigns over. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you have ruined many a career. Dude. Well, I guess if we have to spend fucking nine people to get this guy over. Holy (laughs) shit. We'll get more into that. I thought this was a good match. Ambrose, you know, with the belt should be good. I thought I liked Owens as the IC champ. I think Owens is fantastic. You guys, well, yeah, Owens fans. What do you do with Owens now? You know what I mean? Like, he is that prize fighter. Have you guys heard about him uh, perhaps wrestling Brock? I don't think that's ever going to happen. I, I don't think Brock would even ever entertain that He idea. would laugh at him. And just, yeah. 
Especially uh, in a serious way. He's like, you mean I'm going to squash him at WrestleMania, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm going to squash him. Okay, fine. I felt Here's like another you know, two million bucks to put Kevin Owens over. <laughs> the way I would have done it is keep the belt on Owens, have Zayn return at you know the they, Rumble they and eliminate wasted, Kevin Owens. Uh, they wasted Zayn's return here. I thought. I to me, it's almost like at NXT, it's going to be wasted. It's wasted on the actually plain NXT television show. It's not even the pay per view. It's it's taped at the pay per view. Right. Show. Yeah. Exactly. I thought that was. And announcing it ahead of time, I don't know. I don't like that, man. I think it should have been a surprise fucking... And what? Well, like, did you hear the first rumor about it, that he was going to face Zack Sabre Jr.? Oh, God, come on. Can you imagine how good that would have been, though? Yeah, but get real here. I know, but they're over in England. They've done weirder things. Mm. I guess the rumor for... Uh, I fucking heard a while ago that the Young Bucks, before they signed the ROH contract, mm. were... When they're like taking photos with Balor outside of the NXT yeah. shows, and apparently that's fucking with all the ROH talents, hey? They hate it. <laughs> People are asking for more money and everything like that. And... Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know, man. I I would have kept the belt on Owens and done a fucking Owens and Zayn mania. Zayn takes the belt off of him. I agree. That I agree great. actually completely. You know, you uh, add in him eliminating Sammy or Kevin Owens from the Rumble, and you've got a, an instant feud right there. Do you guys sure. think that we're going to have, like, an exclusive NXT match at Mania? Or it's possible. Like the NXT title will uh, could be. You can do it. I don't but know. That takes, away, that takes away from the TakeOver event the night before, though. Yeah, there is. But a t- are they going to do a TakeOver yes. event? Yeah. Are they? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Oh, they are. Okay. They've okay. got that announced. That's the next TakeOver. There's not another one until then. Did actually. they say it was a TakeOver, or did they just say well, it was a Well, I show? don't know if it was a TakeOver. Because last year, they just did a show. That was the first tryout, though, of a show outside of Florida. That's it? true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, for a big one. Yeah. I like what they did at Barclay there, where you had NXT on Saturday, and then the fucking WWE card on Sunday. Fuck. You'd never be able to do that in Houston, though. Not in that AT&T place. Oh, they would no, never no. do it at the at t Stadium. No, no but maybe... They could have Raw, like... Maybe the they could get another building. Raw. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's outside of Dallas. Yeah, you could... Where's, uh... The, wherever the Mavericks play. Yeah, the yeah, Mavericks play or, you know, something like that. That would work. I don't know. I, I don't know when that event is, if it's the day before, but I hope it is, because I like that. That was a cool... Cool to have a weekend of wrestling, man. It, it is. And it was all... It was really good wrestling that weekend, if I remember right. Well, they had a t-shirt, th- anyhow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was the other? SummerSlam. Summer oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Oh, oh. It's SummerSlam. Oh. Uh, Undertaker and Brock. Oh, yeah. Oh. Which was yeah. a good match, actually. It was. It was. Yeah. Surprisingly. Kind of a wonky finish, though. So, yeah. Well, yeah, like you said, so, yeah, bringing Sammy <coughs> back, announcing him was dumb. Bringing him back and taping a match against uh, nobody is dumb. Well, it was Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger is pretty good. I like Ty Dillinger. That's yeah. Perfect I mean, he's not bad, but, I mean, it's like, I just feel like, why not just... Here was your chance to just bring him to the main card in chase of Owens. It's, it seems like it's, I don't know, whatever. These I mean, there's still time. There's still time you could do it at the Rumble. Because yeah. you do need to fill all those the, the, all those spots. And with all these injuries, you do have a lot of open spots for the Rumble. So, mm. but yeah. yeah, all in all, I, I enjoyed the, the Owens-Ambrose match. It was good. Uh, then, it was funny, actually. I had to go and pick up my chick from work during this pay-per-view. So, <laughs> watching a... I, I was watching that fucking Del Rio Swagger match while driving and shit. <laughs> <laughs> tweeting a lot and tweeting. Uh, but you know, some of the what was I, what was the point I was getting? And she's like, "Make me dinner." I'm like, "Well, the, the Divas match is next, so give me fucking five minutes." <laughs> <laughs> so I, made, I made dinner during the fucking the Flair and uh, what have you match? The Flair show. The Flair, That's basically what it Flair is. show. The Flair yeah. show. Uh, so yeah, that's a, you guys will have to carry this part of it because I don't know. I was making fucking spaghetti. <laughs> well, I I did hear somewhere that a, a a script leaked of of TLC, and in that script, Paige is written as a heel and Charlotte's written as a face. That like they label who is a heel and who is a face, and for some reason Charlotte's labeled as a face and Paige is the heel. So then you're completely fucking confused. Right. Name a main roster. Face diva other than Becky Lynch, go. Uh, Natalia. She's not really on the act. She's not. <laughs> That's the only other one, though. <laughs> she's not really being. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's not really. Yeah, she's right. You guys backed me in a corner here. I had to say it. <laughs> she's literally the only other one. How yeah. fucked is that, dude? Yeah, it, it is. It is. What have you done? That whole Divas Revolution thing was like, 
garbage. Sasha Banks has done nothing. They've killed her off so hard. And she's so fucking over. Oh, I, I don't uh, get it. Like, the fans are still right chanting Sasha Banks, and that shocks the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. It's it's like Ambrose. It's the same thing where like they've done so much damage to Ambrose, but the crowd just does not change their mind. You know, uh, yeah. I just can't believe this shit. Yeah. Well, those are your smarter wrestling fans. They're the ones that aren't changing their mind, aren't fucking drinking the Kool Aid, yo. Yeah, and Charlotte. Yeah, you know, and just like what, three weeks after that whole Reed Flair thing, trying to get Paige all fucking he- heel and you know put Charlotte over as a face, just to change it now. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah, it was no planning involved. You know, it's like they do one thing and they're like, "Oh fuck, let's do this," because Charlotte's not over as a face because no one really likes her. I don't like her. I think she's fucking terrible. Really, she's Char- Char- Charlotte is the worst out of the three they brought up. Absolutely, she's bad in the ring, and you know, Even out of the where they pushed her very fucking Rick. Fla- she's female Rick Flair. It's stupid, and just what a waste, man. Can you imagine, though, if they had, like, Charlotte come down and talk about all the guys she fucks? Jesus. <laughs> and Flair is just coaxing her on the background. It's like, yeah, yeah, she does. <laughs> she, her divorce <laughs> did go through. Serena Knight versus Ric Flair. Serena Knight versus Ric Flair would be great. Um, I'm going to pull that into a news story of this week I wanted to talk about. Okay. Ric Flair says Charlotte has deserved all of her success in WWE. Well, I mean, he is her father. If my father blue balled me on the internet, I would fucking disown him. <laughs> I'm just saying it's it's a pretty ridiculous fucking to anybody else, you know. Oh yeah, no, it's a fucking kick in the face for like Becky Lynch or Sasha Banks. Yeah, exactly. Like she, <laughs> she came in and got the belt because she's Ric Flair's daughter. Absolutely. Dude. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it was. Like it's, it, even like it's even like I've always liked Paige. I've liked Paige's character more than her actual wrestling persona, but even that's getting dragged down to the dirt too. Like no. I don't even like seeing Paige anymore. That uh, she's been she's they killed her off for me a long long ago. Because like I think if if Paige is as a heel, a true heel, she's okay because she has the charisma to do it. And I feel like I don't. I guess my opinion, anyways. Right. But yeah, she's uh, she's fucked. Is she called Spot? <laughs> I don't like that. She is so fucking loud in the ring. Yeah. That is just, uh, it's pretty terrible. That's what she's like in bed. Oh. Mm. Rim shot. <laughs> rim shot. Rim job. Oh. Oh. Anyways. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, not much there. And then you go to the main event. This is what happens when Jim doesn't watch the match. <laughs> <laughs> Listening, and it's like, you know, when the fucking one, two, three, I'm like, all right, take over. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and uh, Seamus Roman Reigns, while I d- enjoyed my dinner, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, the match was a good match, in my opinion. Yeah. The only thing that we learned from that match uh, is they finally found somebody that they that they can have a good match with Roman, that he, that Roman Reigns works well with. And, it, I mean, it was, but it really, you know, you break it down, it really wasn't as great. It was the props that made the fucking match better than what it yes, really was. Yes, it's smoke and mirrors. There was a lot of yeah, smoke and mirrors. Yeah, yeah, So, they both, they, they just both put in work that night, and it turned out okay. I mean, yeah. hey, every once in a while, you're, you're, <laughs> you throw a hundred pennies at a fucking, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, but every once in a while, you're going really to hit it right on the head. Was going. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what are you going to throw a penny at? <laughs> where are you well, throwing I don't know. Like, you like set a, you set a glass. A like, here in Canada now. There's nowhere penny. Yeah. yeah well, you like set a glass out like 20 feet away from you, a handful of pennies. You throw all of them. You know, most of them are going to miss. One of them might make it in there. One of them made it in there oh. for the WWE. <laughs> Maybe what you I think what you're looking for is even a broken clock is right twice a day. Maybe. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's it. That's a better analogy. Yep. There you go. So you, so you count out a hundred pennies. Okay. <laughs> okay. So stick with me. You, you put a glass <laughs> twenty feet away. Okay. And you... <laughs> you're guaranteed to get one in. Right? I thought we were gonna talk about like pennies and like throwing them at strippers or something oh, like yeah. that. Because in Canada you can do that, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, dude. In Canada they yeah. put a poster by the by the Virgin. And you get to throw fucking coins. Oh man, but I went. It was a literal funnel. Oh no, I okay. 
let's let's talk Canadian strip clubs here for a second because the first time I ever went, she, the the stripper was so greasy that she could just take a loony, which is a one dollar coin, mm-hmm. and she stuck it to her ass, like like just place it on her ass, and the moisture on her body mm-hmm. kept it there. Crazy. And you had to throw other loonies to knock that loony oh, off. Shit. And if you knock that loony off, you got a free poster. I got one. Um, I, I went to the local one, the really scuzzy one, Diamonds. Diamonds, yeah. And <laughs> my friend Billy and I went, and the first girl that was on there had grills, <laughs> was wearing ra- racing stripes. She looked like she was fucking in high energy. <laughs> 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 She fucking like took her pussy lips out and <laughs> she, started, she took them out. She took them out and she started to do figure eights with them. That's fucking weird. Oh man, it that's was nasty. Fucking, that's what disgusting. Up. Imagine uh, the beef curtains on that one. Yeah, right. Holy crap. Fucking Arby's roast, roast beef sandwich yeah. over there. <laughs> wow. Uh, give her a week without watching, you got the cheddar. Ready to go. Oh. Yep. That seems to be a common thing up there, yeah, because uh, throwing coins down a poster was was uh, something I've heard a lot about. So there, there's like, something isn't I've like heard the about. The poster is like curled to look like a funnel. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And if you get there's it something... in there, then you get a po- get the poster. Yeah, that's yeah. It's it's usually how they go, and then they'll come and they'll sign it and sign something dirty into your poster. Nice. <laughs> Gross. There's something I heard of, like, people, like, there's a per- certain place, like, down in Wyoming or something. I think it's called the Shotgun Willies or something like that. That sounds fun. I'm sure I, I, <laughs> you take a, st- like, m- one of my old bosses was telling me, like, they're up there dancing right on the bar in front of you, and you take a stack of quarters, like a whole stack of quarters, like a roll of quarters. It's like $10 worth of quarters. You sit, take it right on the fucking, on the, on the bar, and one will come by and squat on it. What? Suck them all. So, hold on, hold on. Suck them all up in there, okay? <laughs> get, get them all up in there. And then they'll, like, lean back, aim that fucker at you, and shoot them out one at a time. Right <laughs> out of their fucking pussy. What? So, <laughs> he got cha- you change for a fun? Have been? <laughs> <laughs> he got change for a fun. Just like a little ATM. <laughs> yeah, Man, I know this is awkward, but uh, <laughs> you got to go through the laundry after this. So get quarters for five, or... <laughs> Can't she just like tweet out other quarters oh, and stuff? Oh, I think it's like fucking change. She's like she shakes around a little bit and two dimes and a nickel come out. I went to the laundromat yesterday and the uh, yeah the machine there that gave me change was not near as cool as that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh. Uh, we always like to go to the worst strip clubs. That was always my like when my band would play out of town. That'd be like, what is the worst strip club in town? And then that's where we would go. Because I think that's way more enjoyable when, like, the strippers have scars and shit. Like, oh, it's because, it, like, <laughs> their dad's really, you're there. You're not going to get a chance to touch them anyway, so you might as well get a fucking laugh out of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Strip clubs are good fun. Yep, good. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, if anything in this match... Really, I I kind of actually started to dig Sheamus. I actually had a little bit of respect for the guy because he took a lot of fucking crazy bumps in that oh, thing. Did you yeah, see his did. back after that? Just completely fucking beat up. His greatest attribute is that he bruises easily. <laughs> that yes, it's that pale ass fucking Irish skin of his. But yeah, I mean they're like, oh, we're gonna make Romans look real good. So go out there and take like three times the fucked up bumps he takes. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, just just. Destroy your body, and you should have a good match. And, you know, with Triple H at the end, and the beatdown, and oh, man, I just... That was dumb. I think it's... I mean, but it but, worked. But it you worked. Got to, you gotta admit, it worked. It was clever on their part. It was. I still disagree with Roman Reigns being anything in that company. Oh, I agree completely. But if you're in the situation where you had him... That's what you needed to do. I mean, we've said that for how long? Every fucking Red Sling podcast, like, he needs to be the silent ass kicker. Yeah. He needs to be like Goldberg. Speak. You know, he needs mm-hmm. to be the Goldberg style booking or something. <laughs> Entrance starts from the fucking locker room and everything. Well, not like that, but I'm saying as far as, like, <laughs> he comes out. Yes, the entrance starts at the concession stand. He comes out, he beats the <laughs> shit out of people, he leaves, that's it, you know. Yeah. No, I agree. That's so. Okay, they should do it. But, yeah, I, I don't, uh. It worked on this crowd, and I thought that was cheesy. Wait, it, even the more shocking part is that it worked on the Philadelphia crowd. We'll get into that. I, yeah, I just we'll feel like, around. I just feel like what a f- bunch of fucking suckers, man. The drones. 
the people who are left at this part. At this point, you know, it's like, oh, see, they they turned it around. You can question them and Vince McMahon and see if they did a good show. I didn't think Monday was a great show, but it was it was better than it used to be. Well, sure, it's better than it's and been. That's only because Vince was there. That's only not saying people. much, though. No, yeah. it's not. And but like the only reason why I was in, enthused throughout the whole show is because Vince was there, and I was just wondering how will they put the belt on. I don't him. think they stepped up their game at all. It was just that we saw something that was somewhat fresh. Yeah, like not even creatively different. It's just. We haven't seen something like that for a while. We always see Triple H and goddamn Stephanie McMahon droning on and on and on. Yeah. Mm. And and Jim, remember how we were talking about on Facebook about how Vince is blind? Yeah. I don't think he's blind. No, I don't think he is. <laughs> no, I don't think he is either. No, no I don't think he is. No. He might have cataracts. He might have cataracts, but he's not blind. Yeah. He's yeah. Eyes are just like red shot around yeah. the edges. Mm. Yeah, he always looks like he just smoked a big old joint. But yeah, so you look at that. They put, you know, I guess um, Barrett wasn't there because he has an injured neck. Yeah. But even you, you, right there, you look. You've used Sheamus, Del Rio, uh, uh, Rusev, Triple H, <laughs> Vince. I mean, at least all those guys. And Steph. And Steph. Steph. Not the shit of them. Uh, and, but like, there was no reason why you couldn't use Barrett, even with neck damage. Like, even if his neck was hurt, you could have just had him. It, outside the locker room that has Dean Ambrose and the Usos locked in there. Yeah, well, that was one thing, too. Why the fuck? you got to pay attention to the details of this Yeah, shit. like <laughs> the fact that nobody came out to help Roman Reigns right there should be an instant heat magnet to those guys and how they should be fighting each other very soon, but I doubt they'll do it. There's a lot of shit like that where you watch WWE and there's just no real attention to detail, and it's, it's really unfortunate because, yeah, that's – Exactly. My girlfriend, who doesn't really watch wrestling, was watched. She likes Roman Reigns, of course, but <laughs> she's watching this shit. And she's like, "Well, why don't they come out and help him?" And I'm just sitting over there, just laughing, like, "Fucking <laughs> oh, because... oh, you poor, you poor sop, you haven't figured this out yet." <laughs> because WWE, that's why. Because yeah. give a fuck. So I thought that was pretty poorly done. The end. Him with the belt and the crowd was kind of behind him. I thought it was pretty gross. If you're sitting here now cheering for Roman Reigns, whatever, dude. I... You and I are different kinds of wrestling fans, I guess. Well, and, and you know what, though, to each their own, you know, like, I'm not a fan of Roman Reigns. I'm more of a fan now than what I was, but I'm no fucking fan. Uh, but I can see why some younger people, some girls would like Roman Reigns. He's pretty dreamy. He's a good looking dude. I, to me, I, I think he's too good looking. He's too good looking it's, to be a face. He's pretty. You hate him because he looks so well. You know what I mean? So put him as a heel. Well, that and that fucking stupid smirk on his face. Oh, no it's one just, has ever liked a guy who has that fucking shitty smirk no. on his face. He's always an asshole. He, I, he looks like the kind of guy that's a dick outside of the room. He is. He's been on podcasts and shit before, and he's a fucking dick. And and what to, and to bring up uh, what uh, past guest Paul Johnson once said. That's a great name. He sure that. does. He sure does like to talk about other men's testicles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this yeah. is like, like I said, six days removed from the whole tater tots thing, and people are like, yay, fuck that. Yeah, and then the next night with the prunes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we might as well fucking... We might as well do Raw right now. Yeah, we're right there. Yeah. We're right there. We might as well fucking get into it. Um, yeah, dude, no dad on the show. But mom was there. <laughs> <laughs> mom yeah. is there. Mom is there. And she loves the throw them slaps. Yep. Yeah, dude. The slap thing, I feel like he should have caught her hand and put pressure, you know, something. He didn't have to throw her down or anything. You right. see his he face? should have grabbed the fucking, stopped the slap, you know. He was crying, wasn't he? Man, he got hit so fucking hard. I would cry, too. Yeah, I, I just saw, like, she slaps him a bunch, and then he smirks. The shitty-ass smirk. Like, yeah, oh. that smirk that everybody hates. Yeah, speaking of hate, I fucking hate Stephanie McMahon. Not as I, eel either, but like as a literal human being. Oh, okay. <laughs> my phone started. I started playing a commercial. Nice, <laughs> nice. On my news article. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hazy over here. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 fuck you, that sound, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then after, you know, I thought that was an all right segment. After that, you just had. A bunch of matches that don't actually have any kind of finish. You know, Ambrose Ziggler yeah. interrupted by Owens, so there's a no finish. 
Yep. Our truth and Bo Dallas. So I was like, "Wow, you're really oh, bringing the fucking you know out." I thought the ending of this match was the best one out of the, all of them the whole fucking night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh yeah, no. And what's really funny is Rhino was backstage. Oh, was and the Rhino to Jerry yeah, thing? The, yeah. The, and the house show where Vince came out and stopped the match because he was bored. Yeah, yeah. So I bet your Rhino was loving that. Yeah. That's fucking Things funny. Things never change. No. <laughs> That's probably what he was thinking. But, I mean, what else are you going to do with R-Truth and Bo Dallas? Of course you're going to stop that match. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they actually kind of did a funny thing. It was uh, exclusive to the to WWE.com. I think or the YouTube or whatever. But after the fact, after the show, they talked to R-Truth, and it was actually a pretty funny little thing. And he, R-Truth can be funny. He gets in McMahon's limo and, like, Steve Guy steals his limo, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like the... Uh, the R Truth, like the multiple concussed R Truth character. I like the little Jimmy. They I should have. Love little here, Jimmy. Here's an idea. You remember, last week I, we were talking about the Adam Rose thing, his little segment there. Fuck that. Let's throw let's throw R Truth into that. That would be so let's, much better, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that's I think it's a good idea, but they got the wrong guy doing it. I don't know who that Adam Rose pissed off, but. <laughs> They had the perfect opportunity to make that guy. They passed it up, and they've done nothing with him. It's sad. Well, they saw the real star of that whole Adam Rose Rosebuds group, and that was Braun yeah. Strowman in the banana suit. Yeah. The bunny. Yep. Wasn't the bunny? Oh, no, no. He wasn't a bunny, man. Oh, he wasn't? No, he, he was, was the banana. There. Yep. <laughs> with a hot dog? Something like that. Yeah, he was a hot dog or a banana. Some dick-shaped oh, yeah, yeah. food. I mean, I, I, was, I did another podcast the other day, and I got... Com- one of the fans, it was a live chat there, and one of the fans said I looked like Braun Strowman, and I felt so fucking bad. <laughs> it ruined my whole fucking day. It looks like Braun Strowman. I even said, fuck strong. you to that Time fan. to shave that beard. Oh, fuck. Time to shave it. Can't do it. <laughs> and then Braun Strowman will shave. Ugh. Yeah. Like, oh, this guy's big. He has a beard. Put him in with the family. Yeah, yeah. put him in with Wyatt's. And that was the perfect thing they could have done with it. They hated the way Chris Hero looked. And his flabby little gut. Yeah. Why not put him in a t-shirt and jeans and put him with Wyatt's? Yeah. yeah. Then you've got another workhorse for the Wyatt's instead of Eric Rowan. Could you imagine Chris Hero and Luke Harper being Luke Harper being a team? Like that would have been phenomenal. Mm, would have been pretty good. Way actually. better than Rowan. Yeah. Every week I watch Ring of Honor and I see War Machine, two guys who would be way better in the family than Rowan. <laughs> so oh, much better. Yeah. So mm-hmm. much better. Especially the bigger fucking guy in the uh, War Gosh, Machine. Hansen. God damn it, that guy is fucking awesome. Yeah. He is. War Machine. Have you ever seen the guy in ICW called Big Demo? No. No? Same deal, just a little greasier looking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's just got body, like, French fry grease all over his body. He's all hairy. <laughs> so it all mats up and stuff like that. It's oh. Like, greasy. <laughs> greasy. Greasy. <laughs> Everyone's got one. <laughs> that was that was decent. Uh, that that was not decent. But seeing McMahon, I was like, wow, we haven't seen him really on camera on Raw in how long? For a year. Yeah. So. Yeah. I thought that was pretty good. You know, I, I hate that guy, but you know, his character when he's the asshole is kind of entertaining. Takes the jacket off like he's gonna fight him. Like that's. Yeah, fucking I thought that was great. That was pretty Son good. Bitch. <laughs> and I don't know about that nut shot if that was planned or what the deal was. But holy Didn't shit. Punch, punch shame. Guy, like WrestleMania one time to slap him? Uh, after that, on the, tough t- the tough enough thing, yeah, yeah, he slapped that Andy Levine guy in the face. Good lord, yeah. yeah and then Lord. Austin gave him a stunner and he didn't sell it, so he fired him. <laughs> that was literally like right after when he won. Like, yeah, he yeah. won tough enough in the ring. Yeah. And then, yeah, fuck. Oh. Austin gave the stunner, he rolled out and walked to the back, and it was just like, Austin probably was like, fire him right now. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, that guy won that show, and, like, three people who, who were on there and got eliminated and all are, like, really good on the indies. Who 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 else is there? Did, do you remember? Uh, Son of Havoc was on there. Marty yeah. the Moth was on there. Yeah, Marty who? the Moth was on there. Really? Yeah. Um, tough Enough, one of the other one seasons had uh, Eva Lise on there. Um, yeah, that was that now one. the female season. And it also had um, Ariani. Yeah. Uh, fucking Cameron. Uh, really? Oh, that Cameron chick was the first one eliminated. Well, obviously. That was when Austin asked her what her uh, favorite Ooh. match was, and it was Melina versus Alicia Fox. God damn. That was her. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Dude, that chick, and that's the thing, first one eliminated from that show, and she's the only one who works in the company. So She's a part that... of the women's division in NXT. How fucked up is that? 
dude. She's. The... I'd rather see Eva Marie than Cameron. At they're... least Eva Marie is a heat magnet. They're fucking about equally the shits. Yeah. Dude, um, and what Cameron tried it was the one who tried to pin uh, a chick on her back, right? Yes. <laughs> she on her stomach and she fucking pinned it fucking upside down. And have you, have you looked at uh, Cameron's moveset in WWE 2K16? Oh, <laughs> she looks like such an incredible wrestler. Oh, my God. Doing hurricane ranas and bullshit like that. It's yeah. like, you know this bitch can't do this. In I wish life. her finisher was pinned on back. Oh, that'd be so great. Jesus. Uh <laughs> Her, she's she's the goddamn shits. Yeah, but yeah, they missed out on they missed out on Son of Havoc, and that guy's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, speaking way, well, I guess we'll get to that later. But uh, I mean, McMahon, good to see him, I guess. But you know, throughout Raw, I really didn't think it was that great of a Raw. There was not really anything. Rusev and Del Rio, Thwagger and Ryback, same old Thwagger. shit. Uh, Neville defeated. Uh, <laughs> Oh, with help of the Miz is producing. Though. Fandango. I liked Dude. that. I, I, I thought that was okay. Fandango 2.0, is that where you're going? Yeah, Tyler Breeze is Fandango 2.0. He is. Yep. He has been Fandangoed. Yeah. Barry Dunn. Have a nice day. Yeah. Yep. And he has Summer Rae just like Fandango. Yeah. Oh, Summer Rae <laughs> is, is, if you put Summer Rae with anybody, you know they're going to die. Yep. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll die a horrible death. Yep. Fandango, fuck, he, will, he was dead before then, but like. Yeah. Summer Ray, looks, Summer Ray looks like Marsha after she got hit in the face of the foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like I have a lot of buddies that will say like Summer Ray, Summer Ray is the hottest demons. Like, bitch, please. Have no, you looked at her at a side profile? Holy fuck! If she looked up at you while blowing you, you wouldn't be able to nut at all, dude. Oh no, no, you think the witch of the west was giving you a fucking nut job? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, pretty. Uh, Are you sticking balls you got there too? <laughs> Paint that grits be green. She's a witch. Yeah. Call her She Hulk. Yeah. Oh, Roll shit. over, China. We don't need another wrestling personality with the She Hulk. Can you imagine the porno summary in China? China just ran the fuck out of her with a bail clip. With their big Doing fucking ketamine on her back. Oh, Jesus Christ. baby peanut size clit. Yeah. Oh, shot of oh, What a fuck. fucking set of balls that guy's got. Yeah. Not literally, just, you know, they actually put his face in there. <laughs> and with this dude, dude uh, we're big fans of Neville, and their usage of Neville has been fucking so sad to me. Oh, it is, but at least the Miz looked good at the end of this. I like the Miz in this segment. Yeah, it was okay. I mean. It's a lot better than last week's segment when they had that fucking Jobin fucking blow guy on there, whatever his name is. Jobin blow? I don't know what his name is. The guy on the TV show that wanted to hire Neville and now Miz. Do you remember that on Raw last? Not last week. Oh, week. oh fuck yeah, I remember. They had that fucking USA guy on there who's garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Chris Christie or something like that. No, no, no. He has his own show after Raw, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're like, hey, we have one of the best high flyers in the world. Let's, uh, <laughs> you know. We'll just make him a fucking random mid card guy, lower mid card. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Very unfortunate what they do. So they still have yet to really. I mean, sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. I guess. Some. Well, like, if you look at the track record of former NXT champions in WWE, okay, it's not very good. You've got Seth Rollins, which is probably the better one, and then Big E is a close second. Yeah. Well, Kevin Owens, I suppose he was a champion. I was too. gonna say, yeah. Yeah, never mind. My my point is now mute. I'm just going by the <laughs> Neville and Bo Dallas. Those two. Yeah, those two didn't translate well at all. Oh, Bo Dallas too. Bo Dallas was like the the fucking second. over in NXT. Oh yeah. Yeah, not up there. Nope. But anything's over in NXT really, except for that's NXT. that's the worst part about it. Yeah, because they will literally do anything. They will they will cheer for anything. They cheered for Adam Rose, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Dillinger's like, oh, I'm, I'm a perfect 10 now. And the crowd, 10, 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Hasn't seen a lick of the gimmick yet. Yeah, we'll do anything that uh, that they were told to. Anywhere that's like, they put that shit in the fucking songs now. I noticed that, too. You look at that or, like, the Bull Dempsey song. It's a crowd of people chanting in the song. It's like, who's yeah. you chant, idiots? Fuck. This, this is what you guys are going to chant. Just yeah. watch. It's gross. Uh, the Extreme Rules match, as mentioned, was better than the match uh, the previous night. Strowman damn near fucking killed Tommy Dreamer. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fucking hell. Yeah, Tommy's uh, 
that wrapped up his. I mean, that's probably the last time you're going to see him wrestling. And uh, yeah, you won't see him on TV no more. Well, what's funny is Tommy Dreamer after TLC had said that was his last television appearance. Yeah, it was like, come on, dude. And then and then Bubba fucking teased Sandman for Raw, saying that they ran into another family member, and yeah. then posted the lyrics to Enter Sandman. Are you serious? Yeah. And it turns out it's just nobody. Tommy Dreamer's there again. <laughs> so don't fuck yeah. me. Fucking, that's the pure genius of uh, Heyman right there. You know, is uh, taking a guy who can't do anything at all and who is drunk and turning him into a fucking top star. Dude, you, you had Sam and you had Balls Mahoney. You had so many guys in ECW. Axel Rotten, Ian Rotten. Everybody that I hate, I don't like any of these guys. They were so over in ECW. Yeah. It's just the way you're booked. Sandman was the shit back in the day, though. Well, he, well, after his entrance was over, he was garbage. But during the entrance, it's great. <laughs> exactly. But somehow it made that work, man. Yeah. Pretty well done. I still think if WWE would have sprung for the interest Sandman music, he probably would have become a mid-card guy in WWE at least. Yeah. Right. He went, well, he went to WCW. I can't believe WCW gave, gave that guy, look, we're going to give you a bunch of money and bring you in. Like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. It was, <laughs> it's like, you're not worth fuck. Without being Sandman and smoking a cigarette and drinking beer, he's nothing, dude. Yeah, they literally, they called him Hack, which was the greatest name for him. Yeah. All he was was a hack. <laughs> <laughs> that was just when WCW would sign anybody from them. Well, yeah. they had that fledgling hardcore division. They had to fill it with something, right? Oh, yeah, fledgling hardcore division of Mikey Whiprack and Haku. Yeah, and Norman Sandman Smiley. And Norman, screaming Norman. Yeah. Which, that was great, though. Screaming yeah. Norman. Of, so, uh... Terry Funk giving Norman Smiley a fucking pile driver in a horse pen. <laughs> Getting kicked by the horse. You ever seen that? Oh, he gives no. Norman Smiley a fucking pile driver in like a horse stall with a horse in there. And the horse fucking starts kicking at them, dude. Jeez, like, no. holy shit. And that's a hardcore match. That <laughs> that's match. fucking hardcore. But man. yeah, that shit was dumb. You ever watch that junkyard match that they had in WC? Yeah, that was fucking garbage with the cars and shit. I thought that was. I when you watched that, I was like, "This is absurd," but it's fucking <laughs> awesome too. Like at the same time, like it's, it, it's on the same level as that fucking monster truck match that Hogan and Brian had. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It's really he groundbreaking. He's so serious huh? right now, too. Like, he actually believes it's amazing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's true. Giant falling off of a building and then coming back with, like, uh, un just unscathed. Yeah, not a scratch. Wonderful, on. wonderful. He should have came back with fucking seaweed and shit hanging off of him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that would be great. And that was the debut of the Yeti. Not? Yeah. Yeti. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was. It was the Yeti. Jeez. Rivaled only by the zombie in ECW. Oh. Yeah, that was like oh, ECW. They're starting that back up. Like, oh, let's watch this. Turn the yeah. It's like, Turn this off right fucking now. <laughs> God damn it! What a fucking travesty that was. Yeah. Let's not let's not relive that if we don't have to. <laughs> I mean, you don't like the new breed or the new blood? New, new breed. breed, yeah. No. I almost had no. a cheap plug for the New Blood podcast. Yeah, well, I was just, yeah, definitely checking our friends at the, at the New Blood podcast, New Blood Rising podcast. Uh, yeah, random plug for them. Good guys. <laughs> Next week, Critical Bill from New Blood Rising podcast will be on. There you go. Good shit. A programming note. I spent all this time <laughs> booking all these guests for this year, and like, I have nothing for next year yet. <laughs> Coming up in January. Uh... Nobody. <laughs> We're working on a fucking badass guest for January, so we'll see if it happens. But anyway, <laughs> moving on with <laughs> no uh, guests, not the fun direction. <laughs> just to keep in, uh, keep in with how it, how I watch WWE. Um, I'm gonna go take a piss while you guys talk about Becky Lynch and Charlotte versus Alicia Fox and Brie Bella. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna continue so, to watch women's wrestling in WWE. So <coughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Rando, let's play yes. a game of marry, fuck, and kill with this. <laughs> marry, fuck, and kill. Yeah, I have to pick any one of them four. Yeah, Mary, Becky Lynch. There you go. Good fuck. Choice. Uh, fuck Alicia Fox. There, okay. That's because you always had a fetish for fucking blackjack, right? Yes. Yes. Me too. Uh, 
and uh, bur- kill the rest. Kill the rest. <laughs> kill what the hell is kill on the side. <laughs> kill what's left over, man. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, like, well, I mean, you could probably hire Bram to help you kill Charlotte. I, I could, yeah. yeah. I, I might not even have to do it myself. No, Bran might do it, and you might just get away with single homicide for Brie Bella. Let's see if you can escape Daniel Bryan's little uh, uh, clutch there of her. I don't know. Well, you think, uh, I think I'd just throw a banana peel down, he'd slip on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Back again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She's not saying yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even make that correlation, actually. Yeah, look at that, huh? I, you oh, know what, though? Shit. I think I probably would agree with you completely on that one. Um, with the Mary fuck killed. Mary Becky Lynch is really the only viable option out of the four. But can you fuck Becky Lynch if you marry her? Because that's kind of like a deal breaker there that has to happen well i would imagine you just fuck the the alicia fox or whoever you would fuck i, 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 I you would marry. kill alicia fox i would kill alicia fox Fair okay I, I don't know Fair maybe I, I wouldn't mind fucking brie bella you're, you're, yeah, you're fucking a skeleton prob- yeah, yeah, you're and, right. And, you're right. Yeah, it's probably it probably at this point, uh, since she's already been through the locker room two or three times yeah. before she decided on which one she was going to stay with. It probably she be took like, the safe choice. Yeah, before it'd probably be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Who did she run through before? Sheamus was one. Sheamus. Sheamus. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, there's a couple more. others too. I do believe. Well, they were in there for a long time. And there's a lot of guys that have come and gone. I'm sure Batista's and Orton has run a train on everybody there. I would imagine. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. We yeah, should get yeah. Batista's book and read that chapter on air. Oh God. Read the women. Oh, that would be great. Uh, two things here. Two things. I would kill all of them and then fuck <laughs> all of them after. Oh, Bundy, get the fuck off this podcast. And uh, Batista's book's probably written in crayon. <laughs> The man, can you imagine the manuscript of that book? <laughs> so it's, a, it's a crayon drawing of him, and it's, isn't it called uh, I Make Wrestle? <laughs> the <laughs> Batista story. <laughs> I Make Wrestle. Rawr. <laughs> See Dave. Just... See Dave Make Wrestle. See Dave Make Wrestle good. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a new book Jim he's got a new book coming out see Dave make movie yeah, Dave, Dave make movie movie make money Dave make smile oh my god oh, I'm gonna do up a mock cover of that book and I'll <laughs> Oh, I be, think I may oh. just like make a full sleeve and put it on a book that I own. Yes, yeah. Display it on my fucking desk. Yeah. Get a hardcover of Batista's book and then replace it oh, with that one. Yes. See Dave make oh. Russell. Oh, fuck. See Dave make Russell good. Yeah, just a, a child a child crayon drawing of, of yeah. Batista holding the belt and then just Dave make Russell by Dave. By Dave. Right. They about teased it with the B backwards. Yeah. And the S is backwards, too. Yeah. <laughs> I heard his daughter was uh, making some pornos. What? Yeah. Oh, fucking so check that out online. If, if you ever wondered what his daughter looks like and uh, <laughs> what she'd look like with a dick going in her b-hole, <laughs> you can check that out online. <laughs> She's the, uh, most, the more talented of the Batista clan. <laughs> but... Oh. I just can't take any dude seriously. Take a dick. See Dave's daughter make fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's her movie coming out. <laughs> that's the chapter in the book. <laughs> See Dave's daughter make fuck going. <laughs> How to make fuck movie make Dave hard cock hard. <laughs> How appropriate is that fucking Dave Batista's daughter is a porn star? Oh man, he deserves every last fucking bit of this misery too. <laughs> he does. Because he put so many women through hell. Him and Randy Orton just fucking destroying that locker room. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. That's fantastic, dude. <laughs> well, that was the greatest description of a match ever. Well, you were talking about um, with uh, Cena, too, man. Like, he just gets, like, Ziggler warms him up and then sends him over to him, you know? <laughs> Dana Brooke is next, man. Oh. That's, that's who Cena will fuck next. Because that's who Ziggler's fucking, I think. 
Is it? Oh, really? Lucky fucking bastard. I get it. I don't know. That Dana Brooke. I'm thinking of Alexis Bliss. Never mind. Oh, I heard oh, one of the fucking Bopsy twins are fucking... The ass fuck twins. Yeah, that's what you guys call them. I heard, uh, well, I heard everybody's fucking Alexa Bliss on there. That's what I heard, too. Yeah, that's... Really? Someone, yeah. someone said that. Yeah, people are saying that, yeah. Hmm. Good for them. Yeah, good for them, huh? Because she is hot. <laughs> Dana Brooke's not very hot, but... Dana Brooke, Brooke is, is like, uh, she, to me, she looks like a female version of Krusty the Clown. <laughs> nice. Dude. I mean, you take the makeup off of her. Like, I've seen a picture of, on Breaking Ground this week, she had no makeup on. And yeah. she's actually a really good looking girl. No, it's true. A lot of those chicks, they ruin with makeup. Even Paige, yeah. she's like the cake of makeup. She like, I don't know if they have like a fucking tranny back there doing the makeup, like a drag queen. <laughs> they don't have awesome. makeup on, dude. RuPaul is their fucking makeup artist. I uh, just want to point out quick uh, while we're recording here, at MWG four three four life. I seen that tweet just then. He tweets. Uh, he believes that there's John Cena wristbands inside of that. <laughs> inside of the package. Uh, <laughs> this is fielded as well. Uh, some people were uh, Eva Marie DVD was one of them. The John Cena rap album. Yep. Uh, what What do you thought? Maybe John Tenta Earthquake Tights. <laughs> yeah, I thought there. I thought there's gonna be an earthquake leotard in here. That'd be a horrible gift for a skinny man. Why would you do? It that? would be pretty funny though. If you got I, I, that, I would love my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd put, I would. I would wear an earthquake leotard over Halloween. And then I would. I'd put it on and fucking make sexy for my fucking lady. <laughs> with your. With your. Don't forget, you got to put your Laparka mask on too. Yeah. Ooh. That's true. Ooh. Wear the lucha mask. So I'm glad Diggs for uh, breaking the breaking that match down, guys. Oh no problem, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember who. Oh, wait, didn't Becky and Charlotte win? I think so. I yeah. Think so too. They. Oh, that's what it was. Rick cheated. And Becky didn't see it. Mm. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, no Sasha Banks on this show, by the way. So. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, she was. They bought a ticket and they were ringside. Why? Right. <laughs> Why the fuck did they buy a ticket? They were backstage. And you know what their excuse was? So they can finally get out to the ring. That's what their excuse was. You're in, how many people in the WWE just walk out to the ring just because? Vince stopped a fucking match tonight, and you couldn't walk out to the ring. You had to buy a ticket and go ringside? Yeah. When they knew when they did it with the Outsiders and they did it with Raven's Flock, it made sense. They right, yeah, right. The Outsiders, you were led to believe they didn't work there. Right. Yeah, I don't know, dude. You were led to believe that the flock were on heroin, so... Yeah, well, I mean, Billy Kidman well, late. was... His finisher was called the seven-year hitch, right, so... That's it. Yeah. And after that, you just had the uh, championship match. Which was dicks. This was dicks, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I just... You know, watching Reigns, like, be booked to be so powerful, kicking out of the bro kicks and shit, like, uh... Yeah, it's just... We, we talked about this, kicking out of finishers and shit. I mean, like I said, we've said many times, and we'll continue, we don't like Roman Reigns, so... It's no, not yeah, no, I agree. Fuck it. The Federation does not condone Roman Reigns as well. But you're going to stuck with it, dude. You're going to see years of this shit now. Oh, oh, yeah. It, it's going to be another John Cena era. And the yeah. ratings went back up here. And <laughs> 27%? Like, and everyone's like, oh, it's going to be awesome. And like... Have fun, dude. Have fun with where this story goes. Fuck. Yeah. Whatever, dude. No. They just tried to put things on them. Like, well, let's try the Daniel Bryan. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, let's try the Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm. Mm, that worked minorly. That's okay. all this is. It's the Stone Cold, man. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. All over again, yep. But just not near as good. <laughs> this is not, it's not going to be. No. Uh, it's terrible. You're going to see a lot of fucking... Wait for next week, dude. You know mom and dad are opening the show next week. Oh, you know? Well, of course they're going to be there because they're slammies. Well, well that, they'll be there for that, but yeah, they're going to... They'll put Reigns into a bunch of matches against... You know, there'll be a match where he has to face four people in a row, a gauntlet match, and he'll beat everybody, and fuck off. If that's the way it goes, I will not be watching Raw next week. <laughs> Definitely not. That's how it's going to go. You know it is. Mom and dad are opening that show, and I... I bet they put him in a gauntlet fucking <laughs> mash. Just rehash everything. That's that's all they do. Oh, let's make him face the big show and then Mark Henry. Yeah. Yeah, just just have him face all the guys that nobody cares about. Well, you know who they're going to have him face? Kane is going to be one of them. Oh, without a doubt. Corporate oh, of Kane. course, yeah. And maybe he might fight Corporate Kane and Demon Kane. God only knows. 
At the same time. Ooh, at the same time. <laughs> Braun Strowman in a cane mask. Oh, oh, God. Let's get, let's get Luke Gallows back. <laughs> there you go. Get fake cane back again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Brian Lee. He's, oh, I think Brian, fuck he was off. a fake Undertaker. Yeah. Fake Brian Lee was a Best fake man Undertaker. at Taker's first wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was his other name in uh, DOA? Uh, uh, eight, no. Chains? Chains. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was Chains. Yeah, it's Chains. <laughs> well, they, Skull, eight ball, Chains, and Crush. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. Paul Ellering. With the Harris brothers. Well, yeah, that was, uh, that was Skull and Eight Ball. Who were like actual pretty much believed to be actual fucking Nazis, have Nazi tattoos. Well, I mean, one did come out on a TNA pay-per-view with a Nazi symbol on his chest. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. yeah. This is when it first started. Yeah. Anything was, goes uh, that, was, that was, that was, that uh, was, what's her name's freaking idea, though? Uh, how come I can't remember her fucking name? It's good. Dixie Carter? Dixie Carter, yeah. That was Dixie Carter's idea. Here, why don't you wear this? Those guys <laughs> are like, um, they're talent relations, dude. The Harris brothers, both of them. And they're complete cunts. Yeah. They look like cunts. They do. Yeah. They do. Fuck that shit. What so, was, were, did they have a name when they had hair in the WWE? What the was, Blue Brothers. The, bru- the Bruise Brothers or the Blues Brothers? <laughs> Not the Blues. Jacob and Eli Blue? Oh, yeah, their name was oh. Blue. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Wow. They wore the fucking the, the little tiny shorts and the big brown They looked shirt. like goddamn Vikings. They did. They it's did. like John Nord. Or it was like the, 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 the second and third Berserker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, they're on the shitty, uh, Ma- like, Mania 11, like, one of the, just the worst ones ever. The Allied Powers versus the fucking Blue Brothers, man. <laughs> oh, God. Garbage. <laughs> no, thank you. And we think our wrestling is bad today. Imagine yeah. if we lived in the nine, like the early nineties, watching WWE. At, oh, oh, come on, oh. give me a break. You had the goon. The goon was the best. <laughs> the goon, the baseball player, Isaac Yank. Yeah. Abe Knuckleball uh, Schwartz. Knuckleball Schwartz. Yes. Lud- Ludwig Borga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man Mountain Rock. Hey. Oh, yeah. Man dude. Mountain Rock. <laughs> Duke the Dumpster Drozzy. Oh, God. How about those? Uh, that was a WCW. They had a uh, those construction worker guys. What were they called? <laughs> well, it- uh, men at work? Were they not called men? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was men no, at work, fuck. yeah. And they came out wearing, like, fucking um, orange vests and shit, yeah. Yeah, hard, ham, hard hats. What was the Spider-Man yeah. guy in uh, WCW called? Uh, Arachna Man. Arachna Man. Who was the uh, the mime magician guy in WWF that used to like shoot shit oh. out of his hands? Uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, Fuck, I don't. I know who you're talking about. El Fantasmo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Or was Fantasmo. Was Maybe just Fantasmo. Yeah, I think it was just Fantasmo. Yeah, yeah. I he think should have so. been Mexican and been El Fantasmo. <laughs> <laughs> Put a mask on, fuck it. <laughs> Not even a mask, just put like a like a, like a sombrero. <laughs> the hat I got for Christmas is too big. I still feel like if it wasn't for the NWO, that WWE would be fucking garbage men and shit still. Because the only reason they ever changed is because they had to. Well, yeah, they, they had to because the NWO was an edgier product, so they had to go head to head with it. And yep. I agree with you completely. We probably still would have fucking, like, we would have a Justin Bieber character. We would have oh, God. Selena Gomez character. Because, uh-huh. like I said, with this, you know, we, the way it was going, we were saying, like, they're going to prove they're right, and they're going to stick with this, and they'll do it until there's no one left. They'll push Reigns, you know? But now people, I just feel like, how do you fucking, how are you fucking cheering Reigns right now and not feeling like a fucking douche? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just pulled <laughs> by, like, one of the oldest fucking things in the book. You know what I'm saying? Now, okay, hear, hear me out on this. Would it be better? If we all just decided to cheer Reigns or resisted it, what would be better in the long run for the product? Oh, I just keep resisting it. But if you keep resisting it, then they're going to try to keep doing more and more and more to make him go over. If we just pretend we like him, <laughs> they maybe they'll just let him just go along like everybody else. You sound like such no. a battered wife right there. <laughs> it's I mean, he had a long day, and I, and, you know. I, I shouldn't have asked him to wipe his shoes off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. in the door. <laughs> yeah. That's what a lot of the fucking fans are. They're just like battered women, man. You know, they're like, they've been abused by the fucking WWE for so long. I think it is though. It's kind of the same. It's like, yeah. it's that, or it's like a fucking Stockholm syndrome, you know? 
<laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I don't see the WWE ever being something that's, like, really going to get it together and be awesome, you know, again, so. <laughs> that's that's why we only have just about a month left. Until Lucha. Yeah. Did you guys see the trailer for Lucha Underground? I, I, I've seen the thing. I haven't went and watched it yet, but uh, I'm just waiting. I don't want to watch that Lucha trailer and then hate every other bit of wrestling until it comes on. So I'm just going to wait until it comes on. Well, <laughs> so I can't talk about it? Oh, go ahead. I don't, I'm not that sticky. Oh, my nipples are still hard. Dude, it's basically video. everybody's showing back up at the, uh, you know, at the fucking... Is Ray in the video? Right at the end. Yes. Ray is in the video. Yes. Yeah, right at the end. So you're going to have some Mysterio in there. And yeah, this kind of builds on uh, Marty the Moth with, uh, what's her fucking name? Sexy Star. He's got yeah. captive yeah. for some reason, which that was kind of in the, the, end of the season one video, which was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was like a little fucking kid watching that, dude. <laughs> and then they showed like a second of the monster through that little hole. And I was like, ah! I can't. There's a part of me that I feel like it can never live up to the, the hype. Oh, dude, they're going to. I hope so. Oh. I really fucking hope so. The way that they did that first season, starting it off very fucking normal. You watch those first couple episodes, it's pretty normal. It's a Lucha Libre wrestling show. And slowly the season starts descending into fucking weirdness. And that was by design. And this season, they're kicking it even farther with like outer space shit and supernatural shit so like oh dude i'm excited as fuck for this i i am too i can't wait for lucha I, I, that finale just the, the end of the first season yeah. was so abstract for a wrestling show you i had no idea where it was i going. am so excited it is it's a fucking by far the most interesting thing to ever happen in wrestling oh without and a doubt it's because wrestling it's... for adults for a change which is fantastic is wrestling yep. geared like it, everything else in the world you know what I mean? Wrestling has always been its own monster and has its own rules. But this wrestling is abiding by everybody else's rules, you know? Like, you can do whatever you want in a television program. There's nothing telling you that wrestling has to be real. Right. The only other thing I, that I would say, like, maybe as a precursor that took a le real sharp left turn was, like, Wrestling Society X was a very, a very creative take on pro wrestling. Uh, yeah. I feel like that was just, like porn though for violence and stuff hmm. sure the, the piranha death match <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I don't well, at least you've never seen it before that's true a lot of people shit on i we should have talked when we had brian zane on because he had a video kind of shitting on it and it's like i actually liked it at the time i was like i just want something different you know like we like ring of honor and shit but like ring of honor is just the same thing it's like of, yeah it's the same thing as like the wrestling was in the 70s for the most part i mean it's the same basic premise so when somebody takes something and goes sideways with it it's like so exciting yeah to see and like i i've slowly been branching everything you know like my wrestling viewing for years was always wwe tna and roh that's what i would watch i didn't care about anything else but like as time has progressed, you know, like I watch a lot of New Japan now. I watch a lot of ICW. I watch a lot of Lucha. Every, you know, it's it's there's so much out there outside of America that is ten times better than anything that we have here. ICW. We were talking about that too. Um, when I when we had seen the, uh, I've been waiting for, for fucking Joe Hendry for all of my life. <laughs> oh, Joe Hendry is amazing. <laughs> yep, and it's yeah. like, Rando and I were sitting here watching it, and it's like. You want to be there, dude. Like you want Clever or Lucha Underground, even NXT. You watch it, and you're like, I want to fucking be there. Yeah, like the chance to go on an ICW. There's one that's like for I can't remember his name, but he, he's kind of like a James Storm character. Uh, I can't remember his name, but they call him Shitty Kevin Nash. <laughs> the crowd just chants <laughs> Shitty Kevin Nash all the time. It's awesome. It's great. <laughs> they should chant that at Kevin Ash himself. Yeah, I mean, he's probably shittier than Kevin Ash, but yeah. <laughs> That's true. And it's like, this guy's not a bad wrestler at all. He's just like a big heel, and they just get his goat by saying shitty Kevin Ash. Hometown hero Joe Hendry is fucking, dude. Drew Galloway threw Norman Dar off of a balcony this week. <laughs> so, come on. I came in a Joe Hendry ball, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, he, had a, he had a Wonder Wall. Uh, intro there last week or two weeks ago and you know after all he came out in the Joe Hendry ball <laughs> <laughs> so it's fucking great <laughs> and then there's a new TV show on ICW called Total Davy which is beating a piss out of Total Divas and it's Davy Boy and Joe Hendry so it's fucking great oh dude 
And that uh, the one where he does in the air tonight, yeah, he comes out. Oh yeah. In that sparkly gold jacket, like whips it open, <laughs> like holy fuck, this is amazing, dude. Yeah, there's so many good uh, entrances. Like Mikey Whiplash's entrance is always really good. It starts off with a somber piano, and then you got a death metal guy coming out. Yeah, right. It's it's, it's all good. I like it all. Yeah, that's things even for the you know into like we always try to suggest people. Our friends at Fully Loaded Wrestling have a weekly YouTube show. Even WCWC has a good one. Um, there's so much like good wrestling out there that. Yeah. If you're going to watch Raw, I guess, but go out in there and fucking actually find out that, like, almost everything else is better. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I didn't do a weekly wrestling podcast, I would never watch Raw. Agreed. Agreed. I'd no, watch the pay per views because I'd still keep the network. The network is worth the network, it to me. It has too much back catalog to give, give yeah. up. You're right. So. Even though they start new shows that are interesting and do an episode and then wait a month and then do two and then wait five months. and I'm still waiting for Camp WWE. Can't. Yeah, Hulk Hogan really yeah. threw a bone in that. Yeah, I want to see. Camp. <laughs> I legit want to see Camp WWE. I can't wait. I mean, they did that like that sh- kind of shoot show with JBL. They do like one of them, and then that was oh, it. Legends with JBL. They did the bitch off one, and then I guess they did the Undertaker one. But yeah, it was a two parter with the Undertaker. That's Have it. They put out any new episodes of Table for Three lately? No, nope. because I actually enjoyed that. I for too. What it's worth. There were some, yeah, there were some really good episodes of that. There's also oh, yeah. no episodes of the List for a while. Fuck, I don't even watch the List. I thought the List was okay, but yeah, I mean, it's whatever. Even though the List was just the countdown, basically, a, same fucking show. Yep. Yeah. So you you think it's time to open that mysterious package or what? <laughs> I think you're more excited about it than I I'm am. Super actually, stoked yeah. and I, 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 I'm not even getting the package. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, well, we got it right here. Uh, do I open this right now? Oh yeah, I do think you should open it, dude. Should I put gloves on? <laughs> Get a hazmat suit. <laughs> yeah, do I need to have any sort of protection whatsoever? All right, here we that go. That was part of the deal. I was like, you, I got you a gift, but you have to open it on the show. Which really <laughs> made him worried. Which should work. Yeah, I should be worried knowing you for the past <laughs> 20 plus years. Yeah. I was gonna. All right. I was going to wrap it in a tampon box for my chick, but she's like, I don't want him to know what kind of tampons I use. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck man That's, why why that, why would that be such a like i guess do you, would you as a guy would you not want to leave your condom box out you don't want to yeah i don't know you know how women are uh, i don't know yeah. i grew up with three sisters yeah i know all right for uh, for everybody here we go we're gonna open this up i'd say this thing's probably about six inches by about four inches it's flat it's soft it feels it like be, it is my dick see <laughs> six, six inches by four flat soft it sounds like <laughs> it feels like socks it's something soft <laughs> all right here we go we're gonna open this thing up here. is it the kevin i see scarf? orange i see orange right off the bat John Cena right scarf. Off the bat. what is what is <laughs> And takes off every piece of paper, every piece of paper. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, they're That's what I'm guessing macho. on the length of time it's taking you to open this soft gift. Dude, they're macho man under <laughs> What is it? Or, is it the orange tights with the stars? Is it the rest of the and shit? Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, I'm so fucking jealous, Jim. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, we're getting. Oh, Facebook's getting. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, oh, man. You're a Macho Man Wrestle Ruse. That's pretty fucking dope. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I went online with the intention of getting him like an actual fucking something, and I'm looking for Macho Man merchandise, and I see these. They're like the trunks, you know, the orange yeah. and the three star. And I'm like, oh, dude, I intended to get you a real gift, and I was like, fuck, dude, that's too funny. <laughs> and I've laughed about it for like the last week every time I. <laughs> It looks like they're actually some sort of, oh, I can wear them when I go to the pool, dude. <laughs> That's the next you thing. Imagine somebody Will in you? walking down the pool just going, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Will you <laughs> post a picture wearing those on our Twitter? <laughs> Nothing but? 
Oh, oh man, you should I, send it around I, like the uh, the uh, sisterhood of the traveling pants, and we all take pictures of it. Oh, oh. Jesus! <laughs> you want to? I don't think like, nobody wants to see my moose knuckle and tiny body. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, uh, fuck, that's uh, funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to <laughs> anything. Same no, size. no, no. I mean, I mean, like they're not white. No, but still, they're still a moose in your, knuckle. In your oompa loompas, especially. Like, I've seen pictures of Randy. I'm a lot bigger than Randy. So. Yeah, dude, he's a scrawny son of a bitch. Oh, man, can I at least wear my Suplex City Limits shirt? <laughs> I think, I think Is he taking a picture of it right now? <laughs> oh, I, am to I think you should just wear those, dude. Oh, just fuck, this would be great. Oh, but yeah. We'll have, we'll have, to, re- we'll have to review, so I'll have to. <laughs> it was like, dude, it was just like $20 well spent for all the laughs I got waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's going up right now on our Facebook. Yeah, never, uh, do it on Twitter too. I want to see this. I'll put it on Twitter here <laughs> once you post it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I I had to uh, yeah I had to get rid of Twitter or I had to. Oh yeah, because of Star yeah. Wars, right? Well, yeah, I fucking almost had to delete my Facebook for the week too <laughs> because of fucking Star Wars. Were people being dicks and posting shit or what? Uh. No, but I I just got out of the two, like, I was in two video game groups, and there's a bunch of fucking nerds in there that just didn't know when to shut the fuck up, too. So. That's stupid. This is fucking awesome. I, I'm not a big Star Wars guy, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> People seem to like it. I know, you know, nothing against them, I guess. You're posting that? That's great. Yeah, I am. I'm just writing the caption right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well worth it for those fucking silly things. Like it's intended to get you an actual gift. I was, I was, I was originally going to get you something cool, and I was like, oh, dude. I, I when I first saw him, I laughed for like five minutes straight, and then I proceeded to order them. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. Well, that was a good gift, man. It's a good gift, man. Oh, dude. So uh, I'm gonna wear them, and I'm gonna take them out to the bar. <laughs> One night, you know, I'll just wear them, and then like I'll find a nice chick, like the best chick I've ever found, and like we'll be ready to seal the deal. And my pants will come off, and she'll see those and be like, "I uh, gotta go." We need, <laughs> we need a story of yeah, you fucking chick and taking your pants off and having macho man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I almost feel like I should try him on while we're on the air. Here. <laughs> well, <thanks, sir. laughs> oh, you posted it here, okay. Yeah, I post. Oh, I posted in WrestleMania. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they look like <laughs> just, just like so fucking gross, man. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, if you back uh, with a lot. Oh, those are the greasiest oh. looking fucking things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Oh my god! They, class, they they were the in a. Fact that this class is for Macho Man underwear. It blows my mind though. <laughs> it looks like a. It looks like an orange diaper, man. It does. It looks like it looks like it's what women wear on laundry day. All right, right. So here I'll post this other picture. I'll show you. I'll tell you what you guys like. Right on the top, it comes in like a little plastic sack, right? <laughs> and right up on top. There's like it's kind of just a silhouette of what looks like a diaper, so that's what I thought. That was the corner I ripped at first. So I'm just like, is this a diaper? Is this some sort of like shit in our pants? Oh Fucking joke God. story thing or something? What's going on here? Oh. And then I saw the orange, and then I put two and two together. I'm like, oh fuck you, fucking. <laughs> Imagine if it was like a pair of Taz underwear. <laughs> With the fur and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the way a woman would react to that one. Oh, man. Ooh, wee. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, you also, while we're here, you mentioned uh, a new shitting pants story, eh? Last week, I shit my pants. <laughs> I did. Um, I had eaten, uh, this is going to sound really bad, but I ate two spicy chicken DQ burgers. Oh. And, and it went right through me. And the next morning, it was a Friday, and it was actually one week ago today. Because I was on my, I was getting ready to go to work. I had gotten out of the shower. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I started to sneeze. <laughs> and I see, sneezed so many times that I shit myself. <laughs> I had to proceed to get back into the shower. Was it projectile? 
I, it went on the floor. I had to wash one of the nuts. <laughs> yes. Yes. It almost got into a cut that I had on my leg. That would have been the bad. <laughs> you could have died of dysentery. Right? I almost escaped fucking death. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, getting myself my... Like, can you imagine giving yourself hepatitis B? <laughs> giving yourself hepatitis B by shitting in a cut? I would love uh... to just see that conversation with the doctors around here. Oh, man. Well, you should, the conversation when I got the clap, that was a fucking fun <laughs> I was like, fuck. I went into the doctor, and I was just like, hey, uh, doc, I think I got a urinary tract infection. He's like, men can't get those. I was like, oh. Then I don't know what it is. He's like, it's an STD. I bet you, he was like, have you had unprotected sex lately? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, well, yeah, you need to start wearing condoms. I was like, I usually do. But this one chick... You know, she said, let's go again, and I was out of condoms, and I was like, oh, fuck it, and I got the clap. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some pills, and uh, my last pill was taken on Christmas Eve of last year. And <laughs> one year free. One year free. It was, <laughs> it was the, uh, the the greatest Christmas gift of all, to not burn when I pee. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. It is. It was, I had to go to a Christmas party with a fucking, with the clap. Drinking and pissing every fucking 15 minutes. It was like razor blades. <laughs> so fucking bad. Dude, that's like thinking you're like, you know, talking about shit in your pants. Why well, you just took it to a whole new level, dude? Dude, I have no shame. Like, I, so what? <laughs> I got the clap. I got a fucking dirty dick for a week. Who cares? Oh you know God. what I mean? Like, that's the way I look at it. It's, it's like, if you can't laugh at yourself, then what the fuck? And me, Good point. I don't give a uh, fuck about anything I do. <laughs> See, I've never heard any of these stories before, so I'm fucking just reeling back right now. <laughs> awesome. I'm sure there's a, there's an episode of the Semi Awesome Podcast that chronicalizes the whole thing. I feel yeah, there probably will. There is, yeah. Oh my, I don't even know how to transition from that to wrestling. <laughs> well, okay, I I can transition. Well, right. John Cena's in the news again today. No, no, I got a perfect transition <laughs> from it. Okay. All right. Uh, Joey Ryan is in the news once again. Do you know why? <laughs> yeah. He he has been, yeah, go ahead. He's been hired by YouPorn as a uh, representative, and he has named his his dick flip the YouPorn Plex. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty fantastic. Yeah. He now has ring gear that has YouPorn <laughs> all over it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. He's a walking billboard. Uh, I think that shit was great. I, I love that guy. I think he's great. I, love it. I, 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 I thought it was too. pretty funny. Well, we seen when we went down to WrestleMania, we seen him and Candice LeRae against who was it? Oh God, who did they wrestle? I can't. Some guy. Oh man, yeah. I, I don't have no. Idea. I have no idea who they were. They sucked. The best part of the match. The world's was cutest LeRae. tag team in the world. World's dudest tag team. Could have been. Yeah. One of the guys was dressed as they were all dressed as each other. One of the guys was dressed as Joey Ryan. The other guy was dressed as Candice LeRae. And the guy that dressed up as Candice LeRae was. Just pretty fucking ugly. Just out of shape. Oh, God. <laughs> Harry in brawn panties. That's uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Joey Ryan wrestles on that WCWC show every once in a while. Really? Yeah. That's worth checking out to anybody. Uh, like I said, well, well produced show. It's hour long every week. It's pretty good. Worth checking out. Especially if you want to get your gang girl fix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when he's not making porn? Yeah, yeah. He wrestles there every once in a while. That's, that must be where Batista's daughter's making her porn. <laughs> Fuck, probably. With Gangrel. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude looks like, he looks like fucking Honey Boo Boo's father or something. <laughs> oh, man, that's true. Great comparison. That is a great comparison. <laughs> he got fired for being too fat from WWE, like, what, 15 years ago. Guess what? He's fatter now than he was then, you know? <laughs> but... Whatever, I guess. Fucking vampire warrior. <laughs> he still spits blood. He's still a vampire, dude. Yeah, he's li- he's he's not never gonna let go of that gimmick. He probably thought he was gonna get a resurgence in uh, popularity when Twilight came out, but dick all happened. He wasn't sparkling. Huh? He wasn't sparkling. If he had added sparkles to his skin, maybe. <laughs> uh, while we're talking news, the uh, WWE announced his new SmackDown lead announcer, Mauro Ronaldo, dude. Yeah. I think that's an interesting move. Morrow is it's, great. He is. He's probably the best wrestling announcer right now, in my opinion. Yeah, a fellow Canadian of yours, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's my boy. He's our boy, actually. We both love Morrow. Actually, who, if you don't like Morrow Ronaldo, you should just jump off a fucking cliff. Him on New Japan on Access. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. It's great. He's great with everything. He was a guy where 
it was gonna after everything got sh- shaken up i was like dude him and jr together or something uh that'd be great well, it could have been good you know like it's I, w- I was a little upset when they didn't announce more Ronaldo for the uh, New Japan uh, Wrestle Kingdom pay per view. Yeah, but this is why I guess. Have they um, announced any English commentary? Uh, yeah, Mike Tenay and uh, Matt Striker. Okay, you had me excited. Yeah, for the first half I know. I know. Because last year they were teasing, or there was a rumor that it was going to be Mike Tenay and Jim Ross because Jim yes. Ross really wanted to work with Mike Tenay. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't mind Striker. I hate Striker's him. okay in Lucha. Yeah. In New Japan, that Triple A show? I mean, that Triple A show was bad enough to begin with. But yeah. Striker was just a, I don't know, he was horrible. I'm marking out, bro. I'm marking oh, out, bro. Fuck, yeah. that's dumb. Yeah, but the thing, too, with that J- Japanese show, once that show started, they had zero, they lost connection with the back, so they had nothing that whole time. Yeah. yeah Jim yeah. Ross and him had to fucking go for it. Well, yeah, apparently, yeah, I think uh, Mike Tanay was talking about, too, like, there was no... Uh, when they went over to promote Wrestle Kingdom 10, there's there's no dealings with English back there. You know, I mean, they're just fed to the fodder. So yeah, and with that too, but today it's like will will TNA fucking wise up and put TNA back on commentary now that they're no. moving? No, they won't. God, Josh Matthews fucking sucks. Uh, Josh Matthews has said though, once his TNA contract is up, he's done with wrestling altogether. He's just going to do his metrosexual podcast now. Good. I don't like that guy at all. I don't like him either. He's he was all right on that little show that they used to have on WWE YouTube. Lunchtime Suicide? No, what? With Tim, with Tim White? No. He... <laughs> Whenever, yeah, Josh Matthews and Tim White, the old referee. They used well, to, I uh, like... that. Yeah. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> that was funny. But I was saying with him and uh, Road Dog, what was that called? Um, Are you serious? Yeah. I enjoyed the shit out of that. I never knew any of these things were a thing. Oh, dude, are you serious? You should check that out. It's pretty good. So as long as it doesn't have Zack Ryder or Mojo Raleigh in it. No, it's Josh Matthews. It's from a couple of years ago, obviously. It's Josh Matthews and the yeah. dog, and they're locked in the basement of Titan Towers. <laughs> and they watch, like, the worst shit that's ever happened. Really? So, like, yeah, that's pretty shit. good. I think that it probably yeah. got canceled just because somebody up the chain heard about it, found out what they were doing, and then, you know, took it away, but... It was funny. They made fun of that, you know, all the crazy fucking dumb shit that's happened in the history of WCW and WWE and shit. Yeah, that's actually a really good view. I, I don't know why that's might have to, yeah. a version of that should still be on the network, but whatever. <laughs> it would be without Josh Matthews, so that's good. But I guess Michael Cole uh, kind of personally selected Ronaldo for this, so I don't know. It's been a lifelong dream of his, and he's thrilled to add his voice to SmackDown. And he said that he is not going to change a thing either. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, he no, we'll see. Now. He says he won't. He says he's still going to call it with passion. He's still going to call it the same way he calls everything else. He's personally not going to change anything, but that's not to that say that doesn't mean WWE that WWE will sub- subconsciously change something. Else. Yeah, like, at least he he has something that the the rest of their fucking people lack, and it's something that Jr. was so good at was bringing, you know, gravity to a situation, yeah. bringing well, excitement I mean, to a situation. There's such legitimacy with him because he called the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? This this guy is a predominant announcer in North America. So right. why you would – you're hiring him. You're keeping his name as Moro Ronaldo. Yeah. Why change anything? Because you're hiring him because of what he's done. Why would you change what you hired him for? It just makes no yep. fucking sense whatsoever. It's an interesting choice. Yeah, we'll see. But I think SmackDown's a little less produced, I think, too, than the Raw guys where – you know, Vince is in there. You're making him do all kinds of dumb shit. I think maybe yeah. on SmackDown, he'll get a chance to kind of... Go- it's definitely going to get me to watch the first episode of SmackDown. No, oh, agree. That's a, that's a good I was like, I'll watch yeah. it to hear, hear him do it. But. Oh, definitely. And I might, I don't know, depending on it, how good it goes, I could watch SmackDown from here on out just for more Ronaldo. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I heard he's still doing some of his side stuff, too. I mean, not- He's allowed to do everything that's not wrestling. He can do his boxing. He can do everything else. As long as it doesn't involve fake wrestling in a ring, he's cool. Well, that's good. Yeah. Oh. So I, a really interesting decision on their part. I was surprised. Like, wow. Every once in a while, they'll do something cool. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> we want to talk about NXT. What did you want to talk about the Slammies, man? <laughs> oh, my God. The only way you would even be able to talk about the Slammies is to make fun of them. Dude, the Hero Award presented by Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, the, the, what, what, listen here, the hashtag of the year. 
Hashtag give divas a chance. Hashtag save the tables. Hashtag Axelmania. Hashtag RKO out of nowhere. And hashtag Suplex City. Mm. Fuck right. Well, I know off. which one I'm. I know which one I'm doing. <laughs> Suplex <for>. City. <laughs> <laughs> right? Then there's, there's celebrity. No, Axelmania, dude. Oh, really? Well, fair enough. Fucking <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know, a lot of people are like, we're going to vote. And like, oh, good. Well, last year. Is this the first year you can vote or what? I don't know, actually. I don't know if you can vote. I actually. think you could always vote. Like, it was funny, last year when Roman Reigns won Superstar of the Year, like, oh, okay. Sure he did. Yeah, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter, matter if you can vote anyways. They're still going to fucking... Oh, yeah, exactly. ...manipulate the way they want to. It's a fucking work, dude. Yeah. So if you're sitting there watching Raw next week, casting your vote, fuck, good luck, buddy. You're wasting some fucking precious time there, buddies. Yep. The LOL moment of the year. Yeah, fuck. The extreme moment of the year. Like, literally, there's a category, Best John Cena Open Challenge Match. Mm. How is that a fucking category? Yeah, dude. It's really bad. <laughs> I, 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 like, we're like, let's talk about the Slammies. Like, what are we going to talk about, dude? No, you, there's nothing to talk about. I think I was just really, really out of my mind. They have some really in-depth, uh, I, you know, how you're supposed to vote and shit. Because I love, like, when they're, like, on the WWE app. So here's how you get it. You go to the app store on your phone. Like, <laughs> they have no respect for anybody. It's amazing. No, everybody is an idiot. Yeah, so, so you retards, you go on your but phone. But, I mean, I guess people are still buying the pay-per-views traditionally, so they have just reason to think people are stupid. I guess, man. Maybe people who don't have access to high speed in their yeah. yeah. But why do you pay? What was so, like, I'm going to buy that? Holy shit, I can't. Imagine paying fifty dollars for that. No, they're fifty nine in Canada. That's crazy. WrestleMania sixty nine ninety nine. No, <laughs> there's never been a WrestleMania worth seventy dollars. No, my WrestleMania ticket was like double the price of what a WrestleMania pay per view cost. It. Well, I got a, a <laughs> to a friend of mine who lives down in, in Texas, and he got tickets for Mania, and he said he paid like thirty something for an area that you can like general admission. So really. I, so it's probably way the fuck up there. Yeah. If tickets are that cheap, I mean, maybe they will sell out. Probably not, though. I can't see them selling out that stadium. I really don't. No. Not especially with the way things are going now. There's what are you what are you building this thing up? Do you think as... they're gonna cover up half the area? Oh or yeah. That they just mask it up with a bunch of um, like um, effects and like maybe a gigantic stage to cover up a lot of the seating. Or they'll have like just these big tarps with people's faces on it going around. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Well, are they going in for, instead of their fake record, uh, were they going to try to actually set a legit record or what? There's never a legit record with the WWE. Ever. Oh. There will, never will be. It's always going to be inflated. Yeah, yeah, they need to break the stadium record yeah. every time, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. And they'll say, I love it too, they'll say, uh, you know, fucking sold out and shit. The pay-per-view wasn't sold out, dude. TLC wasn't sold out. No. There's people who are there, and there's people who work for Ticketmaster. Like, yeah, no, there was tickets available. They're like, sold now, out. <laughs> I do believe the NXT TakeOver show is probably sold out. I think that arena holds 17,000 for hockey, and they had like, oh, four, they, they said 14,000 <laughs> on TLC. So, yeah, probably not, dude. <laughs> well, it's like, to go back to ICW again, they, they're running a 14,000 seat show next year. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. I've heard, yeah, for yeah. Fear and Loathing? Uh, Fear and Loathing in the Hydro in Glasgow, yeah. Cool. I've heard they have, like, selling out 5,000 people over there lately, so that's impressive. They, they had, I think they had something like uh, close to five, yeah, for Fear and Loathing this year. And that's that's the biggest drawing a, a UK wrestling show ever. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's not counting, you know, WWE going there, but a, a UK homegrown company is the biggest drawing stadium they've ever done, so. Hmm. That's why I don't understand why Battle for Los Angeles is still in that tiny little fucking building. I think that's all to do with PWG, though, and they just don't want to fuck with anything because PWG, you can't even download a fucking file from the website. You've got to buy the DVD, which to me, that's just bad business. Well, it is bad business because I'd love to watch more of their shit, but yeah, they don't really make it a, you know, a fucking in a way to do it. Yeah, I, the only thing I've ever watched with PWG is the Battle of Los Angeles because once a show is... A couple of months old, I have no interest in seeing it. And that's that. how you access all the PWG shows unless you actually go to the show. Because yeah. their DVDs come out about two months later. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. It's stupidity. Then to wait me. for the DVD is another two or three weeks. More than that, probably. Yeah. If I could get Battle for Los Angeles on pay, you know, iPay-Per-View for fucking 15 bucks, I would do that. Oh, dude, that's my weekend set right there. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. But I'd love to see and that's the thing too, I'd love to see what they could do. But they put everything everything they do is in that tiny little building, so Yeah. It's I mean, so you know, if if they wanna keep on doing it that way, so be it, you know, if you don't want to fuck with the field. Right. But I feel like it's I'd just like to see what they could do. Yeah, me too. Make some waves and go sell a fucking five thousand person place out. And like that building sells out in what, two minutes? Mm hmm. So it's like can you imagine how many guys you can get? Right. You know, you're just getting the locals there. You're not talking about people that will travel a fucking mega stupid distance to see it because, especially with Dola, because it's got such a big name to it. I'd rather go to Battle of Los Angeles than fucking... WrestleMania? WrestleMania, I absolutely. I would too. Yeah, I would better too. showcase of star, like, yeah. good wrestlers. For yeah. sure. Can you imagine, you go to Battle of Los Angeles, you've got everybody from, you know... The, the guys from the UK, like Zack Sabre Jr. or Marty Skrull, to the Young Bucks, to to uh, Evan Bourne or Matt Seidel, everybody. They got you know, everybody underground in. this year, too, didn't they? Drago. They had Pentagon Jr., they had uh, Drago. Jack Evans. And yeah, they, yeah, Luke Cage. They were, they were all, it was so many, so many good wrestlers were there. <laughs> Brian Cage. Luke Cage from Mortal Luke Kombat. Cage. Brian Cage. Yeah, Luke Cage just walked off that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can get the two mixed up. Fuck That's it, right? awesome, dude. <laughs> Brian Cage looks like a Mortal Kombat. He does. Dude. He does. Yeah, he does. Uh, you know, NXT TakeOver. No, it was it was Johnny Cage. Was oh, Johnny Cage? fuck, you're right. Luke Cage. I want... uh, Luke Cage is a Marvel superhero, for fuck's sake. Is he? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Johnny Cage. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> fuck this show's going long as shit yeah, yeah it's it is. Uh, two and a half hours I'm like do we have enough stuff to talk about today Jesus <laughs> Christ uh, let's talk uh, NXT takeover thoughts on the car fantastic show yeah uh, it, fantastic it was the, the, it was great yeah that was, I mean, that's, and that was NXT takeover oh uh, no yeah. <laughs> Asuka fucking is fantastic well, yep. that, that match was a great match. A great opener. Yeah, it was, was good. Emma, you know, it's really unfortunate what they did the first time with her. <laughs> wow. The dancing stupid thing that she was doing. Ooh. The emanation with Santino, too. Terrible. Emolution. Emolution. Gross. Yeah. Uh, Wilder and Dawson versus Enzo and Cass. I what was surprised. Disappointed me a lot. I, I love the match, but what disappointed me is that the crowd chanting that they don't know who each one is. One has hair and one is bald. How fucking stupid are you? Yeah. To me, the British school system should take a look at what they're doing because they're not doing something right because they can't tell God that's bald and God is hair. And a lot of people, it's a big fucking issue these days. It's like two camps, the people who don't like Dash and Dawson and the people who do. We land on the side of people who do. I do too. Yeah. I, I think they're absolutely amazing. I, I popped yeah. hard when they said Shades of Tully Blanchard. Yeah. Oh man, they're just like Tully and Arm. I, we, but the yeah. fact that they they acknowledged it and just you know this is shades of Tully Blanchard. I was like, fuck yes. Yeah, the, all the way down to the retro jackets. I mean, it's all yeah. fantastic, man. It's 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 really good. That just a good tag, you know, cutting off the ring, just double teams. It's really good. It's, I was it's amazing what psychology can do to a match, right? Yeah. And I don't know. They gave him a little bit of a spot recently, behind, uh, like an interview. They were good on it, so. I loved how in the interview they were holding their titles like it was a prestig like a prestigious object, you know. Now I came from that interview thinking to myself, one of these guys has charisma, the other one doesn't. Yeah, well, right. Scott Dawson has enough charisma. That, or what the other guy? What's his name? Dash, Dash, Dash Wilder. Wilder. He he's yep. lacking a little bit, but he's a great wrestler. Yeah, I like the team. So, um, I, are they going to do anything with Enzo and Cass ever? It's, I think that they're just soon planning on bringing them up, and it's a waste. They don't need the titles; they're popular enough as it is. I think for just... them, the chase is better than Cass. Yeah, because like, really, what's better? Okay, if you if you're planning on fucking a new chick, <laughs> okay, that chase up to busting your nut inside of her fucking juice box is the best piece. <laughs> It's the best part of the whole deal. Once you fuck her, what's you going to do? You going to fuck her again? Well, I've already fucked her. There's nothing new about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's, that's, that's the way I look at it, and that's the way the end zone cast is. What's going to be different about them having titles? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. It's fair. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it, really. I mean, I don't really like the shtick, and... You know, to me, if it's like you got to have a little guy like Enzo, at least he could be a high-flying guy, but he's not really. I mean, he doesn't do, like, 450s and shit like that, or moonstalts, or... 
any of that kind of shit. So you got to be Enzo Air. Well, what wasn't Enzo one of those guys that had not wrestled prior to going to the Performance Center? I'm it, sure. It, it, if he hasn't, though, his, his personality has really helped him along the way. Absolutely. Because the guy does have a, a good personality. Oh, yeah, he's got the it factor there. Yeah, but. he does. Uh, and that hair, what the fuck? Yeah. And launching him out of the ring onto those guys was a really cool spot. Yeah, it was. It was. Overall, I like, really fun. I liked how I believe it was Dash Wilder that used Carmella as a shield. Yeah. Right? So I thought that was pretty cool. Long are the days gone of putting a woman as a shield, but Jesus. <laughs> Do it more. Yeah, well done on that. Um, and then we get into where I start having fucking problems with this show, dude. <laughs> Apollo <laughs> Cruz and Boring Corbin. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Yeah. You know what's really funny? He said, you should go back to ROH. Apollo Cruz has never wrestled in ROH. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest. <laughs> I've heard people say this on other podcasts and it's like you know what Baron Corbin probably legitimately thinks that yeah. all of indies are a ring of honor yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't yeah, he's just one of those yeah. guys he, he doesn't know anything about wrestling he doesn't give no, a fuck not, not, not a goddamn thing and you can tell because there's no emotion he showed a little bit more emotion than usual today in TakeOver at his entrance he raised his arms up and that was it oh wow yep. oh my god wow <laughs> and like is and, Breaking Ground supposed to put me over on this fucking cunt no it, not gonna happen if you like dicks, then sure. If you like dicks, <laughs> you got the guy for you. And I don't see any of the other two. He's balding. He's got a fucking soft stomach. Well, you know there's going to be an Enzo Amore uh, hair match, guaranteed. Oh, God. Man, you see, like, his hair is getting longer, and that it's balding, that, it's looking worse as it gets longer because yeah. it's, like, putting notice on that big fucking ball. Because his ball. hair is getting, I guess, I guess his hair is getting heavier and it's spreading it down more. <laughs> he's, like, he's more bald every week. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine what it's like brushing his hair? By the time he gets to the main roster, they're not going to want to do anything with him because his hair is going to look like fucking Hogan's. Well, because, like, what's going to... What do you think will happen first with Baron Corbin? Lose that little gut or his hair? Oh, the hair. The hair Absolutely. is Absolutely. That gut's not going anywhere, dude. No, man, that weird belly yeah. button? Yeah, he's does have a really weird belly button. Oh man, it's like three inches wide. <laughs> that guy should get the like a bodysuit, like like you know like a bodysuit. Well, not the, like, <laughs> like Roman Reigns. Dust off the L are the uh, fucking giant Gonzalez one or what? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. That Take like that. fucking eight inches off the legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't see it, and I, I mean the decision to put him over. It's whatever. I'm not going to sit and be like, oh, I, you know. I, I can picture why they put him over. Because Apollo Crews is popular. Him losing to Corbin is not really going to do much for him. Yeah. But Corbin beating Apollo Crews could make Corbin look a bit better. And Corbin has not won a match lately, as far as I know. Do you think that they're going to pair him with Balor anytime soon? or Who? Do you, uh, Corbin. Or do you think he's a hot shot to the main roster? He's a hot shot to the main roster. Yeah. He, I, I think you'll see Corbin up in the main roster before you see a lot of guys. Rumble. That's terrible. I know it is. It's absolutely horrible, but I think it's going to happen. And, and WWE's track record, that's a logical choice. So, <clears throat> I, I, I didn't like the booking on it. Like, they gave him, like, 80% of the fucking offense. Well, Apollo Crews did nothing that makes you like him. Yeah, it's the thing is, like, I look forward to an Apollo Crews match, and you got none of what's cool about it. So, I don't know, it's... Just, I don't like the the card. I, the crowd was fucking awesome for this. For the whole thing, obviously, but... Yeah, fuck you, Corbin. Yeah. Watch him make a chance. Oh, great. man. That was the best part of the pay-per-view was the crowd. Yeah. It made you... That, really, like like Jim said earlier, it makes you really want to be there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. those crowds. And, and without a doubt, you know, the, the NXT and Full Sail crowd, that's the reason why these crowds are so hot at the NXT shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because it does seem like it's fun, so when you go there, you want to act like those crowds. And... Yeah. yeah, I feel bad for the guys that hate the crowd. I see people just shitting on the crowd. Yeah, Same people do that here. Out of the show. Typical American style. Yeah, look we'll at Raw. Raw is running as fuck all the time. Yeah, it's the Lance Storm mentality. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it <laughs> went from loving Lance Storm to hating him all in a blockage point of view. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Cunt. that. Cunt. Yeah. Cunt. Cunt. See you next Tuesday. Speaking of, capital C. Speaking of which, we're blocked by Baron Corbin on Twitter. So <laughs> I seen that because he said it was guys like you will just fucking talk about. It. What is, he said something to you guys, dude. Well, you, yeah, I, I said like if Corbin wins, we riot. Last time he fought, last time he wrestled Cruz. 
Yeah. And he's like, no, let's be real. You'll just talk about it on Twitter. I'm like, oh, we can take a page out of your book and cut a shitty promo about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Good. 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 I like it. Yeah, pretty awesome. So I didn't like that, man. I, we'll, we'll see whatever. Fucking do not like Baron Corbin. And they, they do not need... The worst thing they can do is freaking bury Apollo Crews. Yeah, I feel like Crews is like... Top guy, man. Top WWE guy. He, I think Cruz has the potential to be a top WWE guy. He just needs a character. Personality, sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you're right there. He's he, just Shelton Benjamin to Vince. Well, that, yeah, that's, uh, give him the gold standard. He's like, dude, send his mama out with him. We hired Shelton Benjamin back? What the fuck? <laughs> it's Apollo Cruz <laughs> and Mama Cruz. I like Terry Cruz. I like Add Shelton. Terry Cruz to the mix. We just nice. watched. Uh, Last week we watched the uh, first TLC from 2009, and I was like, "Oh fuck, Shelton Benjamin! I forgot about him." Oh, Shelton! I got a best of ROH Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas DVD. It's great. <laughs> that is, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Uh, let's see what else we had here. The the, the Bailey Nia Jax match. Yeah, I mean, turned out smoke and mirrors again. Right, it, it, Bailey made that match tolerable. Uh, Absolutely, the crowd made that match tolerable. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that helped. Yeah, that helped a lot. Because that's probably one of the... The fact that they could actually go ahead and sync up that chant is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, They're singing cool. along and shit. I thought that was fucking cool, man. Yeah, I think, I thought that was I think it's more like a, you know, all right, Bailey thinks she's pretty good. Let's see what she can do with this big, slow, green bitch, you know? Yeah. And I do with Nia Jax, so, you know, so I don't want to, like, you know, I'm not shitting on her, because I do, I'm happy to see that they finally have a bigger power woman kind of fucking thing, but having her She's tap out, the condo, having her tap out, uh, I don't know about that. I might have just had her pass out or something. <laughs> Although, <laughs> nah, but that's so weak, though. It too, is weak. Man. It is weak, but yeah. I don't know. I guess you're right. Leave the fight another day, right? She's smart. Well, if she got, yep. if it was a fuck finish, then there would be room for a rematch. And yeah. I don't think they are doing a rematch. Right no, now. I, I don't. I, Looks like they're teasing Oscar and uh, Nia, Nia Jax. Jax. Yeah. Right. It's either that or that was a way to pull you in to fuck you over and think yeah. that they were going to win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably where they go. You know, I don't know what they're going to do. There's not really anybody down there who nobody's is an obvious successor to Bailey, really. I well, like. To me, the best wrestler in NXT is Oscar. To me, that's yeah, my her or Bailey, one of the two. I, yeah. I I don't like Bailey's wrestling so much as I like her character. That's my opinion. I think she's really improved over. The oh last no! Year. Don't get me wrong; she's a good wrestler. It's just like I don't know when when your finisher is a belly to belly suplex. It's just like. Uh. Well, I, I said that on Twitter too when I was watching that. It's like. It's ridiculous that her finisher is a move that should not be a finisher in this day and age. No. Simply because of a wordplay, you know? Yeah, it's just a, be- a Bailey to belly. That's the only reason why it's her finisher. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really dumb. It's not a finishing move by any stretch of the imagination. Now, the super Bailey to belly, sure. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I'll give you that. But, yeah, the, the regular one is like, mm, okay, whatever. Um, and, you know, I thought it made a lot of sense the way they did it. You know, it was booked really well. Like, Bailey's offense was all what you would do if you were fighting a giant person, you know. I thought it was well, well done all the way around. Oh, yeah, no, it, it, it turned out to be a, a decent match. You know, they turned around with the I think, a place. I think if you want to get the belt off of Bailey, Asuka's the place to go. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. She's, right now, she's like the most over-fucking-woman in, yeah. in wrestling, probably. To me, she has just reason to be so, too. Honestly, if they do do a takeover show during Mania Weekend, Asuka a great a showcase for the women's in a, a women's title for NXT would be Asuka and Bailey, yeah. like face versus face even, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, when two people are so popular as those two guys, you can get away with a face versus face. Yeah. And also, he said doo-doo. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a highbrow show, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Yep. <laughs> Last time he called it Suplex Shitty Limits. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> God damn it. I've always got poop on my mind. Always. always. Well, when we when we came to your guys' place, I said I was going to whip my Johnson out and take a piss in there. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, Jesus. <laughs> I'm at number two because Travis was going to work at that point in time, and it was just me against you two. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> come and do our show, and then and everything's cool, and then we come over to your show, and I'm working and, the heel. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was like, fuck, I've seen a lot of these guys. I did, a, I did a big show fucking... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mini turn. Yeah, mini turn. Yep. Mini turn yep. during lunch. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and uh, from that, yeah, the final match. Dude, nice to see Joe remind us of when he was awesome. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, dude, Samoa Joe was good. <laughs> Samoa good. Joe was pretty good, hey? Yeah, still pretty good. Um, I, I thought for sure they were going to put the belt on him. Why are they not moving Balor up? I, I don't know why they haven't moved anybody up through this lean period with all these guys hurt. If, yeah, I don't, I don't know. They they, I, think, I, I think it's mainly because it would detract from the Roman Reigns aspect. If you put Balor up or you put Sami Zayn up right now, then you're just going to have the same deal as Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns, where the crowd wanted Daniel Bryan, but they got Roman Reigns. Yeah. So I feel like they had to get Roman Reigns quasi over before they bring somebody up. Look how much shit they've had to fuck over to fucking get Reigns in that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, but I mean, to, to, to that company now, this is all just a money business. Yep. As long as they're making money, it's fine. Which, they're still making lots of money, so un- unless the ratings drop so bad that advertisers want nothing to do with them anymore, right. we're not going to see change. Yep. They can talk about how they're trying to change it, they're not going to change it. It's going to be the same until they start to lose money. Yeah, because their ratings were the lowest, their stock was still, like, they were still making more money than they've ever made. So Yeah, so it, it's all a business, it's all it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's unfortunate, <laughs> really. What's and what's become of uh, of that whole thing? Yeah, I don't know what to say. And that's why, if there's you know there's that whole stigma to being a wrestling fan, WWE is the reason for it. Yeah, it is. They're the reason for fucking any stigma you get about being a wrestling fan. So, thank them for that. I don't think that the Joey Ryan uh, dick move really helps our <laughs> cause, though. No, no, I mean that doesn't really help it, but it's interesting. In it our own fun. little world, it's. Perfectly yeah. fine. I love it, but any of us looking in, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is my wrestling. But, uh, your media and track. Yeah. Mm. Right, yeah. You, yeah. you know, you're not going to gain wrestling fans by it. Nobody's going to say, I'm going to start watching wrestling because the guy actually, I don't know. If somebody, if I wasn't a wrestling fan, People somebody some said, stupid stuff nowadays. Well, Kaiju Big Battle, I wouldn't watch that and save my fucking life. Why not? Plus, <laughs> I don't want to watch two guys in gorilla fucking costumes jump around. Fuck that. If I want to watch wrestling, I'm going to watch an actual wrestling match. You're crazy. I, I, well, I don't want to watch XPW. Same fucking lineage. Not even. Not really? even. XPW Why watch a... XPW when you can watch ECW? Why watch the Kaiju Big Battle when I can watch fucking PWG? At least Kaiju Big Battle is creative, but XPW is just a bunch of people just throwing fucking <laughs> cardboard at each other and shit, man. And that's not the cats who wrestle, like, with little buildings in the ring and shit. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, I like that shit. I think that's fucking funny, man. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm the fucking odd man out again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you are. Uh, Balor, I liked Balor with the uh, fucking, the new getup in the intro, in his entrance. I thought that was fantastic. The Jack the Ripper sort of thing. You look at it, what better demon to represent than Jack the Ripper? And I like that they're actually doing something else, like they're, they're, they're adding more layers to the demon character. Rather than, not even the character, I guess, more of his aesthetic. Well, it still is a character, though. Because, like, you look at him when he's in the ring after the entrance, he looks like a red version of Gollum. Yeah. Just squat in the yeah. corner with those weird faces. It, 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 to me, it's a completely different character. It is. But Before they hit the lights, uh, when he was in the shadow with that hat and shit and the cloak, it looked fucking awesome. Oh, it yeah. did. And then uh, I wish they would lose the dreads. Yep, agreed. I don't yeah. like the multicolored dreads. I think that took away from so much of that entry. Yeah. I was just happy to, like, not have to watch a guy in a fucking Predator consum- co- a costume dry hump the fucking ramp for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never liked that, that whole... I liked the lights and the music, but I never liked the whole crawling out fucking thing. I thought that was ridiculous, man. I mean, I, I, it doesn't bother me. I like... Uh, I, I, I do wish... I know it's a company and a business and all, and you want to sell that, but I like the the uh, Prince Devitt where he would change it up all the time, where he was painted as Venom, he was painted as the Joker, he was painted as this, he was painted as that. You can't really paint him as any of those things. 
No, because you got yeah. copyright issues. But yeah. like, right, right, yeah. You can still find different ways than just having the same old face paint all the time. But I mean, right. you want to sell that. But think about it. If Finn Balor wanted to sell a boatload of action figures, just come out in different attires. Yeah. They got to make a different action figure for each attire. That's a lot of money in his fucking. But place. I don't think they make action figures for the NXT. Folks. Yeah, they do. They do. Oh yeah, there's, oh. there's a Finn Balor action figure. There's a fucking Renee Young action figure for Christ's sakes. In, huh. in, in action figure. <laughs> in, ac- yep, in action figure. Yeah. Yeah. So my Renee Young action figure. She sits down at the down at the chair behind the desk. No, she opens her legs for Dean. Oh. Oh yep. Kung Fu grip. Yep. <laughs> no jerk off grip. <laughs> that is Kung Fu. With amazing new jerk off grip. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. It was a good, uh, it was definitely enjoyable. You know, fucking NXT is always, the events anyway are always pretty good. The weekly show can be kind of shitty, but. And, and you're, yeah. you're probably gearing up for a boring couple months of NXT too, because there's not another takeover until Houston. Yeah, and they've also filming a shitload, because they're coming on like a Midwest tour. For a while, they're doing a lot more touring, so that you gets lucky to... fucks because they have not never... really coming. Well, they're not gonna get anywhere near. Us. They're not gonna go nowhere near us either, though. Nothing is near you. <laughs> well, we get raw like four hours away every. No, time. we don't get raw anymore. We get house shows. Uh, yeah, but the, they we got raw two years ago. It usually skips a year. Three, three was it three years ago? Yeah, it was 2013. Oh, fair every enough. year since then, it's been house shows. Oh, mm-hmm. fair enough. Well, there you go. We it's, did get the great angle, though, of Kevin Nash getting to an accent on the Yellowhead. Yeah. That was in Edmonton. That was great. <laughs> I think mean, it's uh, Milwaukee, Chicago, and somewhere else. I don't know. Like, if I wanted to see NXT, I'd probably have to fly to Toronto. Right. Oh, uh, uh, I think, well, uh, probably eventually they'll do a Toronto show. Oh, well, they've done UK. Why not Canada, right? It's just... Well, Canada's it's the, bizarre world. <laughs> but it's the Canada. same fucking continent. You don't have to go across the pond for 12 fucking hours on a plane. Yeah, that's true. I think that they'd rather do shows in Cuba than in Canada. Yeah. (laughs) They won't be doing any shows in Puerto Rico, I assure you that. Nope. They'd probably rather do one in Puerto Rico than Canada. Yeah, but Alberto Rico attacked it last time he was there. I know, I know, but they'd probably rather that than get Roman Reigns boot out of the building. (laughs) Yeah. Fucking Canucks. And do you guys think that uh, Joe will ever make the main card? No. Yeah, I don't think so either, man. I really yeah. don't. I really don't see it at all. Yeah, I don't think so. But all in all, an enjoyable card. I enjoyed it uh, way more than TLC, obviously. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's a it's a wonderful concept. How uh, building up a finishing move can add a lot to a match. Yeah, definitely. So, all in all, pretty good times. And uh, I guess another news this week: uh, Liz Mark Senior passed away, age sixty six. Yeah. So he was a great luchador. Future uh, Suplex City Limits Hall of Famer, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, he passed away this week. Uh, you know, SmackDown, nobody watches SmackDown. More of the Roman <laughs> Reigns show. Not <laughs> worth talking about. Yep. Uh, um, go ahead. Did you guys hear about Brock Lesnar's challenging for the U.S. title in Inglewood, California tonight? Yeah. At a house show. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> How does he not come out of there, the U.S. champion? <laughs> We talked about last week, they had sold, like, only 5,000 tickets for that show. It wasn't even close to sold out, yeah. even with Lesnar on it, so. I mean, how many people could live in a place called Inglewood? <laughs> Long Beach, <laughs> Inglewood. That's about all about Inglewood. <laughs> oh, fuck, uh, it is, too. Yeah, uh-huh. Long Beach, Inglewood. <laughs> they live in a, in a town called Dildo in Newfoundland. That's true. There is a town called Dildo in Newfoundland. Mm. That's where we are from. Not Dildo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> The fudge, even close. the fudge brothers from Dildo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine those starting every podcast? That's Welcome to the Federation. I'm Tyler Fudge, and I'm Travis Fudge. We coming live to you from Dildo, Newfoundland. Great, one. <laughs> oh, it'd be great. Branding. Oh, we would be the sons of Dildo. <laughs> oh my God. Sons of Dildo. <laughs> it's like a fucking faction right there. <laughs> it does. Yeah, the they, son of Havoc. Yeah, we're you know kind of running along. I mean, Ring of Honor. This you know the week show uh, this week the weekly TV show yeah nothing not a lot to talk about there really um, they did have their final battle on Saturday or excuse me Friday and I mean I didn't see it so none of us saw it right no I <laughs> no. I, I saw the first five minutes of the tag team match and it, it the I had too many audio issues mm. yeah I mean they the, the triple threat uh, tag match. Th- 
to determine number one contenders. Uh, you know, the All Night Express won that. Did Dalton Castle with and uh, Silas Young. So Dalton Castle, it does have the boys back now. They attack Silas Young at the end of it. So I fucking love Dalton Castle. That guy's fantastic. Peacock. I think he's great. Yeah. Peacock. Nate. Silas Young too. I really like Silas Young. Yeah. I think his angle's awesome. Yeah. Michael Elgin uh, defeated Moose to, for the number one contendership for the ROH World Title. I believe that that's going to actually take place in Japan. Uh, they're going to be having yes. a honor defense coming up over there. So I think it's at the Wrestle Kingdom show. Yeah, it is. That's pretty fucking awesome, man. It is. It is. It's better than having that fucking stupid NWA title. Yeah, let's get Rob Conway yeah. on our biggest show of the year. What the fuck? NWO <laughs> Hall or NWA Hollywood or something? Why the fuck would you team up with those guys? I've never even heard of that before. No, I don't even know what that is. No, exactly. And it's on New Japan all the time. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I guess I, it's hard for me to keep up on New Japan, but you have the New Japan World or what? No, I just read. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the difference between us. <laughs> <laughs> School system hasn't failed me yet, boys. <laughs> <laughs> up here, we learned how to read, so I read stuff, you know. <laughs> uh, War Machine won the, the ROH World Tag Team Championship. Which is awesome, as we said. Those guys are fucking great. And uh, Jay Lethal retained the ROH World Championship. So, And more importantly enough, AJ Styles did not break his back. Yeah, so yep. there's that. Yeah, but doesn't the poor guy still have to wrestle on Wrestle Kingdom? Yeah, <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura of all fucking people. <laughs> yeah. So that match is going to be a fucking burn burner, though, I think. Yeah, That's definitely. Important. You think AJ's taking some time off after uh, Tokyo yeah, Dome then? almost got to. He's almost got. How do you have a bulge disc in your back and just take a week off? Yeah, he's taking time. You're, yeah. you're in pain. You're, there's no way to say that. Oh, I'm perfect. I'm 100. percent No, you're not. You're a fucking liar. This week he said that uh, he was asked if anyone from NXT has contacted him. He said no. Fans really want him down there. You know, I I guess I don't have an issue with it. Whatever, but we're to do whatever that guy wants to do. But to me, to see him in an NXT would be kind of fucking odd. I, I, I don't think that, money-wise, I don't think he'd go because, like, did you see the uh, leaked AJ Styles, uh, like, like, how much he charges per event? He's making a killing. He, he charges close to $10,000 just for the show. You've got to pay for his hotel, you've got to pay for his flight, and you got to pay for his meals. So you're looking at almost like a $5,000 fucking, or a $15,000 guy. Yeah. Wow. They're not, WWE's not going to pay him $15,000 a show. Right. Yeah, that's, that is, that's true. So, I, I don't know. I think, I think there's a lot of cool matches that we could see, you know, that I wouldn't mind seeing. But he's got a lot of good matches on the indies, too. So, uh, And before we get to the Hall of Fame and wrap this bitch up, just wanted to point out that uh, this is kind of cool, man. The very last event in 2CW history, so Squared Circle Wrestling. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. I, I, I used to play a game called uh, uh, TEW. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm familiar with Square Circle Wrestling from there. So it's their last event as a company. I don't know what the deal is there. But uh, the Young Bucks will be there. Sammy Callahan, he's the champion. The tag champs are Young Bucks. Heavy championship is Sammy Callahan, formerly known as Solomon Crow of NXT. AJ Styles is on this card. Kenny Omega, Eddie oh, Edwards, nice. Two Cold Scorpio, Dalton Castle, Johnny Gargano. Uh, just a fucking bunch of people, and this event's gonna be free. Really? Hmm. Yeah, dude. The first uh, this will be <clears throat> free tomorrow on Sunday. So Sunday, hmm. the what is it, the twentieth? Yeah. This. Wow. Yeah. So I guess there's two sets. Like, there's a first group of matches at uh, three thirty Eastern, and they'll go until six p.m. Eastern. There will be a one hour intermission. And then at 7 Eastern, there will be a uh, – the second set starts. But, yeah, the only way to watch this event is at 2CW.com. It's free with uh, some ads. I guess there's ads showing throughout the event, but it is free. Or you can get an ad-free version for three ninety nine. So Why not? I'm, really? I'll just watch the free one, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mean, they are going out of business, so it's not like you're going to get any return investment from them. So I'm okay. interested to see. Hopefully, the the browser <coughs> on my Xbox One 
will support that. And isn't that always the greatest though when the browser on the Xbox actually works? Yeah, it yeah, is pretty fucking good. Great. <sighs> but that, you that, know, here in Canada, we don't get the network in app form on the Xbox. Oh, you, you can't even get it that way. Well, because the only way you can get it is through a cable provider. Yeah, that's poop. So, but we do have you know in our cable box the WWE live stream is always going through it, right? So that's okay. But I don't have to worry about buffering ever when I watch NXT or anything because it's... You just PBR it. Yeah, I just PBR it, right? So. And yeah, I guess this will be from the uh, the 2CW Arena, as they call it. It's the Pastime Athletic Club in Syracuse, New York. Jesus Christ. God, but they've been running shows Christ. there for almost 10 years. So this will be... Uh, their final fucking show and like dude that's a who's who right there it is it sounds like you sold me on watching it honestly <laughs> right two cold scorpio is he gonna be wrestling that guy I could care less about a two cold scorpio i fucking love that guy back in the day i thought he was back great. in the day sure i saw him on a king of trio show like two years ago and he was still surprisingly good really yeah and he's probably in his mid-50s yeah, oh they, yeah you know he's getting up there for sure yeah dalton castle johnny gargano that's fucking good shit I'm going to definitely check that out. I bet that's what my girlfriend would love on her day off of the week, or day off together. <laughs> and I'm going to watch not one wrestling event, but two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing screams I love you more than 2CW. <laughs> two, two Cold Scorpio is going to be there. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> hopefully hopefully Two Cold Scorpio doesn't wear underwear again. You get a big bulge. So at least she can look at that while she's watching it. Yeah. Well, you know. You gotta look for whatever you know entertains you in wrestling, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and if she has to, you know, if it takes her looking at other dudes' packages, I guess so be it. <laughs> I mean, she's good enough to watch it with you. All right. So check that out. I'm pretty stoked about that. Free wrestling, yes, please. <laughs> and uh, take a what? Hall of Fame. Hall of On Fame. On this big bloated long fucking show. Yeah, we're we're pushing three hours now, boys. Every time yeah, we are. You guys are long as fuck. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a super show. If we, asked, we, couldn't, we couldn't do an hour and a half super show. No, what's no. super about that, right? No, it's not very super. No. No, it's not super at all. The first of what will be, uh, I'm sure, years of super shows, right? Years and years. <laughs> Decades. Until we give up on wrestling podcast. Yeah. You know? Until you just can't watch any more wrestling. I don't yep. see that happening. No. I, I haven't it. watched it since I was three. I'm pretty sure I'm going to continue until I die. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, Hall of Fame this week uh, for the Suplex City Limits Hall of Fame. You can check it out on our Facebook, facebook.com slash Suplex City Limits. Uh, Rando's going to induct you for today. Well, I've got a whole lot to say about this guy besides uh, eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. And no, we're not going to, we're not putting in. Ni- late 1980s, I have to hold the ropes to stand, Andre the Giant. Yeah. We're talking late 60s, 70s, early 80s, Afro, yellow tights, yeah. can drink 175 beers in one sitting and still have wine with dinner, Andre the Giant. Yeah, yeah. That's who we're talking about. Yeah, good times, Andre the Giant. Yeah. Good times, Andre. Yeah, not black singlet, Andre. No. Yeah, not black singlet, Andre. Yeah. Oh. There you go, man. And you know, like, what do you really have to say? Like, under the joy. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing you only... can say that hasn't been said already. A lot of right. Hall of Fame's undefeated like... for what? Undefeated for what? Twenty years? Yeah, something like that. Right. No, oh, dude. So fucking great. Uh, this NWA Hollywood, you said, right? I think so. Yeah, with Rob Conway. He won a Los Angeles Battle Royal in 1975 and 1980 at NWA Hollywood. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the history. Holy shit, the turn things around. Yeah, everything comes full circle. Yeah. But yeah, I man, there's not a lot you have to say about Andre. He's fucking awesome. The first of the, you know, crazy huge giants. And uh, probably most relevant. The only one booked to perfection. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yep. yep. These ones are great. You know, some of them, it's like, I have to make an argument for why some guy should be in there. <laughs> like, Andre the Giant. Yeah. There's nobody's going to dispute you on that one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and those ones are great because it's like, all right, here we go, and here he is, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> when we did Rick Flair. Yeah. It's like uh, Rick Flair because it's Rick Flair. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> Nothing really we have to say. So there's that. <laughs> Under the Giant, the newest inductee into the Suplex City Limits Hall of Fame, the most prestigious Hall of Fame in all of podcasting. 
I'm I'm going to sign. I'm going to start a petition for Sabu in 2016. Ah, oh, that's, that's interesting you say that. And we'll yeah. leave him in his own shrine where it has poo all over the walls. Yeah. <laughs> dog poo. Yeah. Blood everywhere and a crack pipe. And Genie Lamb. And a Genie Lamb. Genie Lamb. Yeah. <laughs> Genie Lamb. <laughs> Have you seen his new manager? Is his, like, girlfriend? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. That was even weirder in person. I see him doing interviews and she's sitting there. Oh, yeah. Like, Why do we care what this bitch has to say? Yeah, no, you don't. I thought it was Missy Hyatt at first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just looks oh, like geez. a fucking mess. Where is Missy yeah. Hyatt these days? And who's begging me? Yeah, well, that too. What alley is she sucking dick for crack? Yeah, pretty much, dude. Uh, her and Sonny having Skype sessions. Her and Lance Storm tweet each other all the time. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah he probably fucked her. <laughs> Mr. Personality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lance Storm fucked her. <laughs> 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 Family man Lance Storm. Oh no, I'd yeah. say she probably like if 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 anything happened between those two, she probably drugged him and fucked him herself. Who would you say is the most fucked woman in wrestling? Her or Sonny, man? That's oh, that's hard to say. Right? I'd say Sonny. I think Sonny's Nikki probably Bella. Worse. Nikki Bella. <laughs> Nikki Bella. <laughs> Come on, Nikki. I mean, like fuck, like, either Missy Hyatt or Tammy Sitch have both had more dead wrestlers in them than the fucking Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah. I like that one, man. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Ricky. <laughs> we probably had threesomes with two guys who are both fucking dead now. Well, probably a while, they they were dead. Were dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while they were she dead. She probably yeah. fucked Jimmy Snuka after he killed his wife. <laughs> oh, with her in the bedroom. <laughs> Sonny was yeah, like, that was probably... Let me miss you. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was probably the motive. Now we can fuck. All right. Yeah. Okay, now we can fuck. I think that's the perfect spot to end this, dude. Clumping Missy Hyatt into a murder. Yeah, it's fucking good. <laughs> so, yeah. Watch. No, I hope a rumor comes from this. That'd be great. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? Oh, it'd be awesome. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, Dinks got That's why there's taken... a gag order on the, <laughs> on the court case. <laughs> <laughs> Gag order. Gag order. I'm sure she's. A, I'm sure she's given him many of those. Wow. <laughs> 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 Ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Like I said, uh, follow the Federation podcast on Twitter at the Federation. Uh, your show is available, like ours, where all fine podcasts are found. Uh, we thank everybody for taking time out to listen to the Super Show. We'll have to do this again sometime, gentlemen. Oh, of absolutely. Course. The fucking super show. Maybe maybe somebody can really fuck maybe, up maybe the Royal Rumble and cause a great, great <laughs> Four men, two shows, one episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is Explosions. Uh, what do you guys got coming up on the channel, man? Uh, well, we just released the Raw Roulette 2002 episode that's featuring the uh, TLC match with Kane and Jeff Hardy and RVD and blah, blah, blah. Uh, then next week we're doing, uh, we're going to commentate while watching uh, Naughty or Nice or Santa's Little Helper with The Miz. Oh, God. That should be oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then from there, we're going to take a couple weeks off and come back in the new year with more of the SmackDown 6. Nice. Yeah. And next week we have... Uh critical bill from the new blood rising podcast also check those guys out at new blood podcast on twitter uh friends of ours when we keep working with team up federation suplex city limits and new blood in 2016 a seven man fucking podcast wrestling podcast <laughs> fucking domination cluster fuck super show yeah it'll be our yeah. version of the royal rumble coming for you sam roberts <laughs> and we'll be coming on you and in you <laughs> can you imagine getting cum stuck in that fucking fro how hard would that be to get out I, I'm sure he spends a lot of time getting cum out of that thing I'm sure he, I'm does, sure he does Yeah. I'm surprised no one's ever went like Sam these guys are talking about you <laughs> it'd probably be the best thing for us oh, man. yeah it probably would do us a favor out there <laughs> And tell Sam, tweet him. If you fucking tweet Sam Roberts. follow Sam Roberts, tell him we think he's a fucking so he's yeah, a fucking yeah. bitch. We have a Canadian musician named Sam Roberts. So oh. we should just tweet him Sam Roberts videos. Yeah. 
But if you if you fucking uh, follow the wrestling podcast, Sam Roberts, tell him we think he's a bitch. <laughs> tell him, tell him his afro is a fucking semen Brillo pad. <laughs> <laughs> and his show is a fucking G-rated WWE bankrolled piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Have you ever listened to a Sam Roberts show? Never. No? Wasted. Uh, Raw was pretty much the best thing ever this week. Yeah, yeah. Raw blew my fucking mind. <laughs> and now we're going to have Eva Marie on. Yeah. It's a hype super show. I'm going to talk to her seriously for a half hour. Good yeah. fucking luck, buddy. Yeah, that's luck. probably, that meme I sang on Facebook, that's probably where that came from. Dude, dude has like super, 10, super, the super slam. slam. Yeah. Dude, that's like super 10 slam. times more listeners than both of our shows put together. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them, though. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's going to do it for the super show. Uh, we thank you very much for listening. You guys have a, a last sentiment for the people. Um, keep on rocking in the free world, Dan. Do 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 do. Split to each other. <laughs> be be Canadian to each other. Say you're sorry. Um, eat some maple syrup and uh, watch some Trailer Park Boys. You can be Canadian as they come. There you go, man. Man, I'll... two new seasons next year. Yeah. Two seasons, yes. No mm-hmm. way. Yeah. Yep. They just put a new one on our Netflix too, uh, live in Texas. Fucking yeah, awesome. I watched that one too. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but as always, may you get all of the dick and or pussy that you desire. And remember, clap. a winner <laughs> is you. <laughs> yeah, but don't get the clap. Don't get the clap. Yeah, yeah. Stay away from that. <laughs>